Hello friends, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, I be all designing developer. Like in the previous videos, we have covered up many of the things using Next.js and I hope you understand that all applications which we have just created through Next.js like many of the applications we have created and in the previous video, I am giving you the tutorial of Python of 3 hours and I hope you understand that and in that Python tutorial, I am also telling you how you can just build a project using Python and I hope you understand that uh, Python tutorial which I have given you from the start. So today we are just covering up a project but you can say this is not a single project which we are covering up in this video we will be building four applications in this video here and these four applications will be of next year we will be using different technologies with next year like in one uh, application i can use next year and gpt code there in second i can use next year tailwind gpt code there in third like this we can just use different application but in every of the application which i am building here is with Next.js means in every application I am using Next.js so this is core application which we are building here in this video so this video will be really long but it will be really helpful for you because you will be learning four uh, projects means four real world application we will be building here so if you just understand this project which we are just building of four different applications using Next.js so remember to hit a like and if you are new on this channel hit the subscribe button after subscribing hit notification bell so more people can learn they can understand how we can create these projects using different languages and also comment me like what projects do you want from me using next year so i'll be building that projects as well in future so just now we'll be starting with our project and seeing that how we can just create four applications using next year and what technologies we will be using in different four applications using next year Till I get up, time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And I know we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go like I'm telling you that we will be just creating four applications using Next.js so now we will be just creating our first application and our first application is about how we can just create a furniture app using Next.js and now we will be using GPT-4 in that as well means we will be using two technologies Next.js which we will be using in every application like you know that and the second technology is GPT-4 uh, GPT which is the AI tool and we have used that AI tool in many previous videos so today we are uh, building that furniture app using Next.js and GPT code. So now I will be opening my folder here through my download. So here I will be getting my folder. You can see here it is furniture app in Next.js and GPT code. So I will be opening this folder. After opening this folder, I will be moving to my main file and removing all this stuff here because this is all the codes which I will be not using in this video. And I will be writing my own codes to create this amazing furniture application here from start. So I will be not removing this libraries because we will be needing this and this directly I will be removing these all this time. Save till here and then you have to give some spacing so we can just write it perfectly good. Press Ctrl V to close side panel, zoom in, press Ctrl S to save. Now I will be opening this file, means this furniture at main file in my default Google Chrome browser. So I will be now moving on here. You can see here it is our furniture app and now I will be opening it by double clicking to my Google Chrome. You can see we are getting the title and build better like this and now i will be doing like i will be making vs code bigger here now you can see this we are just getting our project working side the left we are getting our coding side and at the right we are getting the interface side where we, we will be getting the interface of our application which we are building here 
so i will be now doing one thing like i will be moving down and i will be creating a div class as header underscore section so i will be writing here then i will be writing it as div class container underscore story then you have to just write in dev and in dev i will be now writing it as class and in class i will be writing dev bar dev bar then write here expand and i will be writing it as ng dev bar and i will be writing here light now you have to just write here bg light means background light as well which is the tag which we write then create a div class of logo as well and here i will be writing a tag and main file name then you have to create image tag with image slash logo which is the main logo which we defined here then you have to move after the close div which we have created you can see here it is then here i will be creating a button with class dev bar toggler and then you have to give a space here and write here type button and i will be writing it as data toggle again in data toggle i will be writing here collapse then you have to just write here data and i will be writing it as target is equals to right here dev bar supported and i will be writing it as corporate then you have to write here area controls is equals to then i will be writing here dev bar supported content again like we have written there but the difference is that here like uh, in when we have written this same text at the start so there we are writing hashtag in the start because that was the data target but this is the area control so here we will be writing the same text but we will be not writing any hashtag in the start now when you just create this here you have to just uh, now move down after this tag so here i will be not to uh, here i will be just doing one thing that after writing area controls we have to now just give a space and write here area expanded is equals to false and then give here as area label this time and in area label i will be now writing it as toggle so i will be writing toggle like this and i will be writing toggle navigation then you have to now move down and create a span tag create here class as dev bar toggler again then you have to write here icon after writing this you have to give here div class as collapse so here i will be now writing then you have to give here dev bar collapse like this then give here id as dev bar then i will be now writing here supported for that then you have to now move down and create ul class and here i will be writing it as dev bar dev and then write here mr for then you have to just do one thing you have to get create here li dev item and i will be writing it as a tag remove this actually and create here class as dev link and i will be now just moving here and write here actually main file name then write here home and write here li class dev item and write here a tag remove this actually here create class as dev link and write here actually as services which is the file here as it is i will be now writing services then move down create another li tag with dev item so i will be writing it as dev item a tag then you have to just now write here href and create dev link here then i will be now moving forward and creating another href in which i will be writing here about which is our third file and here as well i will be writing about then create li with dev item class so i will be writing it as it is then create a tag remove this href here and write here dev link and now here i will be writing actually again and create shop then you have to write here shop as well save it here after saving this file you have to now simply move again and create another li with dev item and this time i will be creating it as it is with actually remove this first of all and create dev link and now here you have to write actually in which i will be writing contact and now here i will be writing it as contact like this after writing this you have to now write here contact as it is like this as well now you have to just save this and now i will be just doing one thing i will be moving down after this tag which we have created of ul then here i will be writing it as form remove this section from here and create class in the place of form and here i will be writing form in line and write here my2 then you have to write here my lg0 then you have to create here h1 tag which is the heading one which means that create a class call and then store text so just now i'm defining all the libraries in the classes so we don't need to style this in the css or any other file then i will be writing here call us plus 01 then i will be writing it as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 so this is the random number which i have written you can use any other number as well then i will be creating a div class as search icon so write here search icon as it is then you have to write here ul and after writing ul i will be writing a tag here in li create image tag with images/search icon.png which is our file name 
then move after the li tag close li tag create another a tag in which i will be writing as login save this then reload so you can see we are getting our nav bar which is looking awesome like we are getting a background image of nav bar we have just not put any of the color like this is a background wall image and in which we are getting a beautiful hover effect on our nav bar menu yellow hover effect our number is coming and our search box is also looking good and it is totally responsive because it is application so obviously it will be responsive for mobile you can see this so now after getting these all stuff here i will be moving after the divs so just we have to move after the nav and then we have to move down after two divs which we have created after the close dev tag here then you have to create here another div but remember you have to use the small letters here and i will be writing it as banner section in which i will be now writing here layout under score padding then you have to just simply move down here and after moving down just i will be writing it as div class container and then you have to write here div id custom or you can say here like this i will be writing custom and then you have to write here slider and then you have to write here carousel slide just give it space and then right then write here data right so here i will be now writing data right carousel and you have to now move down and create div class and i will be writing it as carousel inner so here i will be now writing then you have to just write here div class write here carousel item active and then you have to now write here h1 class for nature so i will be now writing here and then you have to write here underscore text then i will be now writing here for nature but in capital like this then you have to move down create p tag with class and i will be writing there underscore text so after writing this thing just here i will be moving in the p tag and you can write a simple text here like there are many variations simple text you can write you can use any other things as well so i will be writing off passages of lauren some then i will be writing here like available then i will be writing the but the majority have suffered and then here i will be just writing a alteration in some code then i will be just doing one thing i will be simply copying this paragraph because now i will be needing this paragraph in all the paragraph tags which i will be creating now so i will be copying this here after copying this you have to create a div class here down and create here as contact underscore bt underscore way then you have to write it as div class so i will be now writing it as div class again write here contact underscore bt and then i will be writing here a tag in which i will be now writing here contact and then here you have to move in center and write here contact save then i will be now moving after the two divs which we have created and then you have to write here div class carousel item and then you have to write here h1 class and i will be writing it as furniture text and then you have to write here furniture again here then create a p tag with class and in class i will be now writing it as their text so here i will be now writing their text paste the same text which we have just written here create another div class as contact underscore bt and then i will be writing main and then you have to create a div class again with contact underscore bt write here a tag and then you have to give here contact file name and write here contact save then you have to reload so you can see we are just getting the furniture the text here and the contact as button but now we will be uh, creating a slider as well because we will be creating it three times so we can just get the slider effect also in this landing page or you can say a home page which we are creating so here i will be doing one thing like i will be moving down after two steps again create another carousel item you can see it is moving forward automatically because we have just put auto slide here then i will be writing it as for nature text then here i will be writing for nature like this then you have to write here p tag class their text and here i will be now pasting the same text here create here div class contact underscore bt mail and then you have to create contact class and write here contact underscore bt a tag and now i will be writing it as contact here so i will be now writing then here i will be writing contact us then you have to save this thing after saving this you have to now move after the uh, like two div which we have created so here when you just create this three times here now you have to just do one thing you have to move down after the three div which we have created so you can see these are the three div here which we have created now i will be creating the sliders here so i will be creating a class give here carousel control previous which is the previous button now then right here hf and i will be writing here custom 
under store slider create role button and i will be now writing your data slide preview previous like this then create i tag and i will be writing it as class now you have to create images slash and i will be writing left arrow dot png save then you have to just move down and create a tag then i will be removing this actually create class right here carousel dash control next then i will be now just doing one thing i will be moving here and create h hip then you have to write here custom like this and i will be writing here slider create roll button then i will be now just writing the data slide next so i will be writing like this then you have to create i tag with class like this and then i will be now writing the image slash and i will be now writing right arrow dot png save and then here i will be now just doing one thing i will be creating the class here again and create services under store section and then you have to write here layout padding so i will be now writing it as layout under store padding right here div class container and then you have to create h1 with class here i will be writing services under store data then i will be writing our services then when you just done with this thing here i will be moving down and create data with class as many data then i will be now writing here same text means pasting the same text here create another div class which will be as services under store section 2 and i will be writing it as layout padding then you have to write here div class row and then write here div class call lg 3 and write here call as sn fix then i will be writing div class icon 1 right here images slash and then here i will be writing icon 1.png and here i will be just doing one thing i will be moving after the close div which we have created right here down the tag which should be as furniture text and then you have to now just change it to furniture text like this so after doing that step here uh, you have to just do one thing like here we have to check one thing like this so now after doing this you have to now move down after this furniture text which we have written and here i will be writing furniture like this now you have to write here pt class and i will be writing it as dummy underscore text and here i will be now pasting the same text which we have written and then i will be just writing here div class now here in this i will be writing read underscore pt main then you have to write here div class read pt and here i will be writing a tag and write here read more save then you have to move down and create div class call lg3 write here call as and fix then here i will be moving down and create div class as icon 1 so i will be writing it as icon 1 down create image slash and i will be writing icon 2 so here we have created this then you have to just simply move down after this tag and write here h2 as it is and create a class here in h2 class i will be writing it as furniture text like this and here i will be writing furniture then you have to move down and write a pt class dummy underscore text then here i will be pasting the text and then i will be writing it as div class read underscore bt main and then i will be writing it as div and i will be writing read bt a tag and write here read more save then here i will be doing one thing i will be moving down after that uh, two dips again create another call lg here so here i will be just changing this to uh, like here i will be writing office so i will be writing this then write here call lg and here i will be writing p call sn and write here six then after writing this then you have to move down after this and after moving down this i will be now writing it as tag so here i will be now just writing this class i can underscore one and then you have to just do right create images slash right here i can p like this then you have to just move after the close div which we have created and write here h2 with furniture text like this and here in this i will be writing home then write here p tag with dummy text so here i will be writing dummy text pasting the text here then i will be writing div and i will be now writing class as read pt and write here main then i will be now writing div class read underscore pt then i will be now writing a tag and here i will be writing read more then you have to save it and here i will be moving down and create div class call lg3 
and write here call xm6 and write the class icon underscore one right here images so i will be not just doing one thing i will be writing images slash right here icon code then i will be saving it and then you have to move after the blue bits here and write here h2 class and then i will be writing the furniture text then i will be writing the bedroom like this so here i will be writing this thing and after writing this you have to just move here after this close h2 create t tag with dummy text again the class which we will be writing here paste the text here and then i will be writing it as the class read db mail and then you have to write here this class read db and then you have to just write here a tag and here i will be writing read more save this thing after saving this you have to move after the divs here so here we will be moving down after six divs so you can see here uh, one two three four five six so see uh, so these are the six divs here which we have created and i will be moving down after these six divs here which we have created now after moving down this you have to create a div class as about and i will be writing it as section and layout and that is called padding then you have to now create a div as class container and write here div class row right here div class call md and i will be now writing here six create h1 class and then i will be now writing it as about and that is called text then in center i will be writing here about us and then I will be now writing a three tag class, and I will be now writing Lauren underscore text. And here I will be now just doing one thing. I will be writing that there are many variation, or you can just simply paste the text here like this. After pasting the text here, I will be now uh, just pasting the text again like this. Now when you just done with this thing, here I will be moving down after the close three tag which we have created. You can see here we have created that. Then I will be just now creating a div class again with read pt bar. Then in center I will be writing a tag and here I will be writing it as read mode. Then you have to just create a div with class again and I will be writing it as call md6 like this. Then you have to just move down and create div class image under score one. Write here image tag again and write here image is slash image one dot p and you save it. Then you have to move after the four divs which we have created, and then you have to now write here div class furniture text like this, and then you have to write in the place of text furniture section, and here I will be writing here layout padding. Then after writing this thing, you have to now do one thing like here I will be writing it as div class container. So till here I will be saving and reloading to show you, so you can see we are getting a uh, furniture written here, and we will be. Just now getting the services, you can see these are the services which we provide. You can see it is also getting the about a section we are also getting here, and down we are creating the furniture section. So now when you are getting all this stuff, just you have to move after this close tag under this div. Then I will be writing here h1 our underscore text. Then here I will be writing our furniture. So I will be now just writing it as as it is, and I will be writing our furniture like this. Then you have to write here p tag and I will be writing input underscore text and then or you can say just remove this and here I will be just doing one thing I will be closing it and here I will be just writing it as hit some underscore text then I will be writing the same text which we have written here then you have to just move down and create here a div class as furniture so here I will be writing furniture section 2 and write here layout underscore text then you have to just write here div class row and then I will be writing it as div class call md6. Then I will be writing here container underscore main. Then I will be moving down and writing here images slash and then you have to write here image two dot png and write here class image. Then I will be just moving down after this image tag and creating a class as only. Right here, a tag and create a class again as icon. Then I will be now writing the title. In title, I will be writing the user profile. Then I will be just moving down and writing the item. So here I will be just moving and creating a item with class as FA, FA search. Then save here. And then you have to just move down. Create h3 tag and write the class as temper. So I will be now writing the temper and the score text. Then here I will be now writing the temper tag. So here I will be just doing one thing. I will be pasting it, and then I will be just writing four text written. So just I will be moving here. 
you can see these are the things which is written here so i will be writing like this now i have to write here pay tag and write here dollar and there is school tax and then i will be now pasting the text here like this and give a space and paste it here. now you just done with this create a class which should be called md6 then i will be now doing one thing like i will be writing it as if class and i will be writing for container and there is more main and then you have to write here image slash and i will be writing it as image 3 then when you just done with this here i will be writing class image like this and then i will be writing this class overlay so i will be writing it as overlay then you have to write here a tag and create class as icon then write here title in title i will be writing here user profile and here I will be now writing I tag create class as FA as this search save and then I will be now just writing here H3 class and here I will be writing temp for text and then you have to now just do one thing here you have to write your temp code like this and I will be writing in C read on and then you have to write here put the bore at the bore like this now you have to move down P tag create class dollar and then store text and here I will be now just paste this and then you have to get again you have to paste this there then i will be moving down after the dips so here you have to move down after the five dips you can see these are the five dips here like this and then you have to just now write here dip class and then i will be writing here dip class new section layout under store padding then i will be moving down and write here dip class container and then here you have to write here h1 class and then i will be writing here new Data like this, and then I will be now writing who we are. So I will be now writing like this, and I will be writing here uh, who we are like this, and then I will be writing a question mark. Then you have to create a score tag here, in which I will be creating a class as designer under score text. Then here I will be writing designers like this. Then I will be writing designer and innovation. And when you just written this, you have to just uh, write here innovators. Then you have to just move down and create this class as Lauren underscore ipsum. And I will be writing here underscore text. Then you have to write here Lauren ipsum dollar six habit. So I will be now writing as it is. And then when you just written this, you have to now write here concept filter. And then I will be just doing one thing, I will be pasting the text, not writing this. So again, I will be pasting. Now, when you just done with this area, you have to create a dip class. And in dip class, I will be now writing it as get pt underscore name. And I will be now writing this class. And I will be writing it as get underscore pt and a tag. Here, I will be writing get a code like this. Save here, and then I will be just directly reloading this. So if I reload, you can see we are getting our furniture section, which we are getting there are many variations of passages simply here also. Then we are getting who we are, so we are getting introduction, you can read it, then get a code button here. So this is the thing which is looking good. So after getting these things here, I will be now doing one thing like I will be moving down after the two dips which we have created here. So I will be moving down and then I will be writing it as project section. So I will be now writing projects underscore section and write here layout underscore padding create div class as container and write here h1 class as our text so here i will be writing then i will be now writing our projects so here i will be writing this and then i will be writing p tag and create ipsum so here i will be now writing class as ipsum underscore text and then you have to do one thing you have to write here Lauren Ipsum dollar six habit and then you have to just write here concept filter and write here adapt PCC like this. Now when you just written this, you have to create your div ID and write here main underscore slider. Then I will be writing class carousel slide and then you have to write here data write is equals to carousel and I will be now doing one thing I will be writing here div class and here I will be writing carousel dash inner and then you have to write here this class carousel and then i will be now writing it as item active then you have to just write here this class projects so here i will be now writing this class project section 2 and then you have to write here this class container and i will be now writing here main 2 then you have to just write here this class row and here i will be writing this class call sm4 
Then I will be writing it as the class container and that is code main one. Then I will be writing image slash and we have to write here image code dot png. Then we have to now write here class as image and write here the style width hundred percent. Then when you just written this here, I will be moving down right here class and then I will be now writing a modern text and then I will be writing it as modern home designs like this. Now when you just done with this thing, just you have to move after the close edge one which we have created and write here diff class again and I will be now writing it as middle. Write here diff class and I will be writing here text. Then in center I will be writing here view mode. Save and then you have to directly reload here. So after reloading, if I show you, so you can see we are getting one project, and when I am hovering on this project, so we are getting new more button which is looking good. So after getting this stuff, here I will be moving down after the three dips which we have created, and then you have to now write here call sm4, which is another class which we will be creating here, and then you have to create a container which should be container underscore main. Right here image slash image five like this we are getting this. Then I will be writing class image and write here style as width and I will be writing it as hundred percent. Now when you are getting this, you have to create h1 with class as border underscore text. So I will be writing here underscore you have to write and then here I will be writing border form design. Then when you just done that, you have to move down create here this class as middle and I will be writing here this class text. So I will be writing that. Then here I will be writing view mode, save, and then I will be writing div class call as and four, and write div class again. And create a tag which should be container underscore main one. Then you have to write here image slash, and then I will be writing it as image six like this, and I will be now writing here class image. And when you just done with this thing, just here I will be now giving a space and write here the style width, write here hundred percent. Then when you just done with this area, I will be moving down and then I will be now just doing one thing, I will be writing here H1 class and I will be writing it as modern underscore text. Write here modern home design like this. So here you can see we have written. Then you have to write here div class middle and I will be now writing here div class text. Then I will be now writing it as new mode. So I will be now writing new mode that same. Then when you just done with this here, I will be doing one thing like I will be now uh, moving down after the seven dips which we have created. So you can see these are the seven dips one two three four five six seven. So these are the seven dips which we have created, and I will be moving down after these seven dips here which we have created. Now. After moving down, just you have to create a div class carousel slide, or you can say here like carousel item. Then I will be now giving some spacing here. Then you have to move down after it in this div here and create div class. And I will be writing it as projects and right here underscore section two. Then I will be now just giving a space directly from here. Then here I will be writing div class. So I will be now writing the div class container and I will be writing it as underscore main one and write the div class row. And then you have to write here div class call lg and I will be writing it as code or you can say call sm4 so you can write like this. Now when you just done with this, here I will be writing it as this class container and that is code main one again like at the top we have written. Then I will be writing image slash image code dot png which is the image, write here class as image, write here this time with the width of 100%. Then when you just done with this, here I will be moving down and create h1 class which should be modern underscore text. Then in center I will be writing modern home and I will be now writing it as design. Then I will be moving down and create this class middle and I will be now writing here this class text. Then in center I will be writing new mode. Save. Then I will be now writing here this class and then you have to write here call sm4. So here I will be now writing like this. Now you have to just create this class and create container underscore main one. Then you have to just write here image slash and then I will be writing image five. And then you have to write here class image like this. And then when you just done with this, here I will be writing style is equals to width. And then I will be writing here hundred percent like this. Then you have to just do one thing. You have to move after this tag and create h one. 
So here I will be now writing h1 class modern underscore text. And here I will be writing modern home design again, like this I have written. Then you have to move down and create diff class middle. So here I will be now writing here and then create here diff class text and write here view mode. So here I will be now writing view mode. Save here and then you have to reload. So if I just show you, you can see we are getting three more images here with the same our effect, but difference is that the images are changed and we are getting a slider effect on every image. Now when you just then with this create a diff class as call sm4 again. So I will be now writing it. Then you have to create diff class as container and I will be now writing here container main file. Then you have to now write here image slash and then you have to write image 6 here as it is. And write here class should be image. Write here the style is equal to width and in width I will be writing 100%. Then you have to just move down after this and create here h1 class modern underscore text. And I will be writing here modern home and I will be now writing here design like this. And then you have to move down and create this class middle and I will be now writing here this class which should be text and then I will be now writing here view mode. So here I will be now writing view mode like this save. Then I will be now just doing one thing I will be moving down after this uh, diff so you can see we have created 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are the 7 diffs that I will be moving down after these diffs. Create carousel dash item here and then after writing this we have to create diff class and I will be writing projects underscore section 2 and write here diff again create class as container underscore name 1 then I will be writing diff class row and write here diff again with the class as call sm4 and write here diff class container and write here underscore name 1 write here image is slash and write image 4.png create class as image and write here the style width 100% now when you just done that you have to move down and create h1 class as modern underscore text and i will be now writing here modern home design like this then you have to move down and create this class middle so i will be now writing here this class middle as it is and then i will be writing this class text and i will be now writing here view mode like this save this and then you have to create this class again with call sm4 and then i will be now writing here this class Create container again and write here main one underscore you have to write which is compulsory here. Then I will be writing images slash image five. Write here class image and then I will be writing here the style width and I will be writing it as hundred percent. Then you have to just move down after this there and create h1 with class as modern underscore image or you can say text like this. And here I will be writing modern home design. So here I will be now writing. Then you have to move down and create this class middle. And then you have to write here this class which should be text. Then in center I will be writing here view mode. Save it. And then you have to move down and create this class called SM4. And here I will be writing this class container. And write here underscore main file. Then you have to write here images slash and then I will be writing it as image 6. So you can see we have just written this and write the class image, write here the style is equal to width 100% like this. Now when you just written this, you have to create this class modern and there is four text and I will be writing it as modern home design. So I will be now writing. Then you have to move down and create a tag which should be diff class middle and I will be now writing here diff class and I will be writing it as text and then you have to write here view mode. Save. And then after saving this tag, you have to move after the 8 divs which we have created. So now here I will be moving down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are the 8 divs which we have created here. You can see this. So after moving down after these 8 divs, so here I will be closing this. And now here you can see we have this getting this. So here we are getting the 4 divs here. Now I will be moving down after these 8 divs and then creating a a tag here with the class so create i will be creating a a tag then i will be now writing here control previous and then i will be just creating a slider effect here on my edge with then write a role is equal to okay so i will be moving here and then i will be just writing a role as button then here you have to write my data slide as previous 
and then you have to now go down and create i tag with f a f a angle left now you have to just do one thing you have to create j tag again right here actually this class as carousel control and i will be now writing the next like at the top we have created the previous and then you have to write here as with main slider again and then roll should be button so here i will be writing roll button then you have to just write here data slide next so here i will be now writing data slide next then you have to just write here i tag and create class f a f a angle right save it and then after saving this you have to move after the create which we have created and create the class slides and then you have to write here section layout underscore padding and then you have to write here div class container and then you have to now write here div id carousel and i will be writing here example indicators then you have to write here class carousel and i will be writing here slide then you have to write here data right is equals to and i will be writing it as carousel like this and after writing this tag you have to now move down to create ol in class as carousel indicator so here i will be now writing this then you have to write here li data target is equals to and write here carousel example and i will be now writing here indicators then here i will be writing data slide to then you have to write here zero create class and i will be writing active and here you have to just do one thing you have to move down and create li data target and then you have to just write here carousel example indicator write here data slide and then i will be now writing here data slide to one and write here class as uh, like you can see you can just remove the class now because for only we have to write in the one so i will be now writing here data target which should be carousel example indicator write here data slide is equals to Like this. Now again, you have to move down and create data target. So here I will be now writing data target hashtag carousel example indicator right here data slide two three. Now when you just written this, you have to directly move down after the OL tag and create the class here, and then write the carousel here. Then create the carousel again, which should be as item and write the F. Then I will be now writing here H one with class as client underscore text. And here I will be writing what uh, what says our client like this. Now here I will be taking more capital and this capital like this. Now when you just done with this, you have to move down and create three type with class if sum underscore. So here I will be writing if sum underscore text and I will be writing Lauren. So here I will be writing Lauren if sum. So here I will be writing dollar sit Hamid sum set either. And then you have to write the header E C C. Then when you just written this, you have to move down and create div class. And I will be writing it as lines. And then you have to write the section to write the layout under score padding. Then I will be now writing the div class line. And I will be now writing the dash one. Then you have to write the div class row and write the div class all S M P. Then you have to just write the div class image. Underscore seven, right here image image slash, and then I will be writing image seven dot png. Then you have to just directly move down, and then you have to write here div class, and then I will be now writing here four. So here I will be writing four underscore icon. Then I will be now writing image slash, and right here four icon dot png. Save it. Then I will be now moving down and right here div class with all s and line. I will be now writing the call as a line. Then after writing this tag, you have to now simply write here h1 with class as box sense underscore text like this. Then I will be now writing the box sense like this thing. Then you have to now move down and create p tag, and in which I will be creating a class as dollar with some text. Then here you have to just paste the same tag which we have copied. And after pasting this text here, I will be moving down after the three dips and create this class. And I will be writing the client to. Then I will be writing this class row. And here you have to write this class call S M three. Then I will be writing this class image under score seven. Write here image is slash. And I will be writing image here. Then you have to now just do one thing. You have to just uh, move down and create this class code icon. So I will be writing here. 
then write the images slash and I will be now writing quote item. Then here when you just written this, you have to move down and create this class all as a line. And here I will be writing h1 class as load cells under this quote text. And then here we have to just write here load cells again. So here I will be now writing load cells like this. Then here uh, I will be just doing one thing like I will be moving down after this tag which we have created h1. And after moving down, uh, here I will be creating a key type with class as dollar if sum and I will be now writing here text. Then you have to paste the text code. Then after just writing this text here, I will be now doing one thing like I will be moving down after the uh, dips means five dips which we have created. So you can see here as it is we are getting these five dips and then I will be creating a carousel item here. So here you have to just give normal dash and create a carousel item. And with that, I will be creating a H1 class as client and the score text as well. Now, after writing this, you have to write here what says our client like this. Then, when you just uh, written this here, I will be now just moving down and create P tag with class if sum under score text. And I will be writing Lauren if sum dollar six habit. And then write here come check Peter. And write adapt PCC like this. Now, here I will be doing one thing I will be moving down, and after moving down here, I will be moving at the top. So, you can see at the top, we have just written here what our client says, and this was the section which we were using. So, I will be just doing one thing here, like we were using that two dips, which I was just showing you two dips here we have used. So, here I will be now moving in the section which is this one, this client section two, and I will be simply doing one thing I will be moving down and I will be copying this client section to here. So we are only getting the five divs. So obviously we have to now copy four divs because we have already created one div here. So I will be now just doing one thing. I will be just copying this thing here. Then I will be directly pasting this stuff here. Then you have to just do simply one thing. You have to give a space after the five divs. So these are the five divs which we have created. If I show you, you can see. Okay, so these are the four and this one is the five. You can see now we are getting the space here. Just I will be doing one thing like now here you have to just do one thing like here you have to see the images like images are perfectly written or not. So here I will be now doing one thing like I will be moving down and you have to use the same images here. Then uh, here we have to paste this thing again. So I will be moving down at the top. You can see here is the carousel item and these are the five disks which we will be using here. So here I will be now copying this tag. And then I will be now just doing one thing, I will be not giving the space and then I will be pasting it. So after pasting this tag, you have to now simply uh, do one thing like you have to paste this tag again after the five tips. So I will be giving a space after five tips and pasting this tag again. You can see we have paste this again. And then after pasting this, you have to now simply do one thing, you have to move after the tips which we have created. So now we are getting here. Uh, so now when you will be moving down. So you will be getting nine tips here. So now here we are getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are the nine tips, and I will be moving down after these nine tips and creating another tip class, which should be context section. So here I will be now writing context section like this, and write here layout in this section only, and then you have to write here layout and then score padding. Then you have to create div class again with container. And then you have to just write here div class row also. Then I will be now writing here div class call md6 as it is. Then I will be writing here h1. In h1, I will be writing here class as contact under score text. So here I will be writing like this. Now I will be writing here contact us as it is. Save it. Then you have to move down and create div class. And I will be writing it as main under score section. Or you can say like this. You can write. Then after writing this tag, you have to now simply write here input tag and in input I will be writing here type text and write here class as email bd. So here you have to write dash and then write bd. Write here placeholder and I will be writing here as name. Then I will be writing in name as name like this. Now you have to just move down and create input type text which is already written. Write here email bd. Then you have to write here placeholder which should be email. Then I will be now writing the name, name like this. 
Now, when it is done, the best in just here, I will be moving down to create another input type text, create class as email dash bt, write here placeholder, and in placeholder, I will be writing phone number, and write here name, which should be name like this. Then I will be writing the text area, and here I will be just doing one thing, I will be creating a class as message. So, here I will be now writing here dash bt. And then you have to remove this col columns and rows and ID as well, which we are getting. And in the place of it, I will be writing placeholder. And then you have to write a message like this. Then you have to write here rows type and then write here ID comment. Write here name and then I will be writing here message. Save. Then you have to move after this close text area tag, which we have written and created with class as send underscore bt. Then here I will be now writing a tag and then you have to write here send like this, save it or you can directly do like this. Then here I will be writing div class and I will be writing call md6. Then here you have to write div class and write here image underscore line. Then you have to write image, image slash image line. So you can see here we are getting save it. Then you have to move after the four divs like this and create div class. And here I will be writing footer underscore section right here layout underscore padding then i will be now writing it as the class container and then you have to write here the class rows and i will be now writing the class call as the b call as m6 then i will be writing the class and write here footer and write here logo like this write image slash and then i will be now writing here footer logo so here i will be now writing then when you just written this here, I will be moving down after this div and create here a b tag with class s footer underscore lauren and then underscore text. Then you have to just do one thing like here, I will be pasting the text which we have just written. So I will be now doing one thing, I will be moving at the top. So you can see this is the text which we are getting. So I will be now just copying the text which we are getting here and then simply I will be moving down here. And then after moving down this, you have to now paste it here in this field. After pasting this, you have to move down after the, uh, you can say one tip which we have created. And then I will be now writing here div class and then you have to write here call as v3. Write here call as m6 like this and write here h1 which will be having class as customer and then store text. Then I will be now just doing one thing like I will be writing here let us uh, help you like this. Then when you just written this, uh, here you have to now move after this h1 tag and write three tag class and then I will be now writing footer underscore lauren text like this and then I will be now writing here like this and I will be pasting this. After pasting this you have to write here div class call sb and I will be writing three. Then you have to write here call sm6. Then you have to now write here h1 class and then I will be writing customer underscore text. Then I will be now writing here information and then you have to just write here p tag with class as to that underscore lauren text and then I will be now writing here one write about us save it then you have to just now do one thing like here you have to just uh, now close it but remember you have to write the PR tag like this after writing this you have to now just give a space and write here careers and write here again PR tag and then you have to move down and write here sell on Shopee like this and write here dr. Then you have to just remove the space here and then I will be writing here press and news. And then you have to now write here dr tag and press backspace here as well. Write here competitions and I will be now writing dr tag and write here this. Create terms and condition here. So I will be now writing terms and condition dr tag. Then you have to now press backspace. Create here div class again, write here call lb3 and write here call sm6. Then you have to now just write here div h1 class as customer text and I will be now writing here our design. So I will be writing here as it is. Then you have to write here p tag class to that and then score lauren and text. So here I will be now writing like this. Then here I will be writing the same text which we have written here. Then you have to now move down and create div class. So here I will be moving down after the two steps and create this class as input and write here growth. And then I will be now just writing here MP3 
then I will be writing input type text which we have written class you have to write here form control now I will be writing here placeholder and in placeholder I will be writing enter your email as it is then you have to write here area label is equals to and then I will be now just writing here area label write here enter your email so here I will be now writing like this create area and I will be writing here describe by is equals to write here basic dash header to like this now when you just written this here you have to create another div class as input group so I will be now writing here input group append then I will be now writing spread text then I will be writing it as input group so here I will be now writing input group like this and then you have to write here text and after writing text you have to now give here id as basic so here I will be now writing as basic add on to then you have to write here a tag and I will be now writing here subscribe like this save then after saving this we have to move after these four divs which we have create right here div class copyright underscore section then I will be now writing here div class and I will be writing it as container right here div class social and right here underscore i tag then you have to write here dual li a tag and I will be now writing it as image slash and then you have to write here fb icon dot png and then you have to now write here li a tag and I will be writing images slash and then you have to write here twitter icon dot png then you have to move down create li a tag and I will be writing images slash and then you have to write here insta gram icon dot png then write here li a tag and you have to create images slash write here linkedin icon like this now when you have written this thing you have to create class as copyright so here I will be now just uh, writing like this and after writing this tag you have to now write here underscore text then I will be writing 2023 all rights reserved like this and I will be now writing here comma or uh, sorry dot design by then you have to write here a tag create https slash and then I will be writing here like next dot design so you can see we have created this then I will be just now writing here a tag which is says that uh, we so I will be now writing here we max templates like this then when you just written this you have to save it here and after saving this you have to now reload it so if I show you here you can see we have just built this amazing project here which I want to show you so this was our amazing furniture application and this was the first application which we have created in this project so you can see this and like I'm telling you in the start we will be also getting the slider on our home page so you can see how good looking is our slider we are getting the slider as well on our home page which is looking awesome and you can see this how good looking is it so this was the thing which I want to show you here and like this you can just create this furniture application you can see we are getting the logo here at the left side and then at the center we are getting all the nav bar menus as we want and at the background I have not put any image I just only put the uh, you can say I have not put any of the color effect I have only used the image at the background and here also we have used image the text is written by me obviously and the contact is written is also here which is looking good you can see uh, uh, our effect of black color on the button which is looking awesome then here at the right we are getting number as well of the owner of this site or the user of this site and the search box here with the login button as well which is looking good the slider effects are working you can see when i am just pressing the sliders you can see these are working and it is looking really good so this was the thing so you can see now if i scroll down so this is the our services section in which you will be getting all the services which you will be providing through this furniture application so you can just provide furniture you can provide office furniture home furniture bedroom furniture and then all this stuff then the user can read about you by just reading a paragraph which you have written in about a section and you can also just put a read more button so when the user want to read more about or want to get more information about your site or about your furniture so they can press this read more button to gain more information then if i scroll down so these are our furniture you can put a sample images of your furniture which you are having or the best furniture which you have having so you can put some images a paragraph short paragraph about your furniture and other furniture images then if I scroll down so you will be getting who we are like what designers and what innovators who used to create these furniture and you can also write a paragraph about that here as well and you can also just put a button which says get a code which I have just put then if I scroll down so we are getting our projects here so here I have just put a one paragraph so you can also put one line paragraph to just 
uh, right here like what things you provide to your users so you can see we are getting that all stuff like these three pages in our projects our project section which is looking really good you can see how the building is placed we are also getting a view more button on every image which we are hovering on so you can see this and modern home of the design written down then we are getting our client section which you will be getting the reviews of your clients the client says about you so you can just put the images of the clients and the text here like what your client says so i have written the random text but you can put the uh, you can say you can put the original text as well if you are making this site originally for your future business then if i scroll down this is the contact us section user can contact you here by writing his name email phone number and the message he want to get to you or provide you and this is the image which i have just put and the contact is written at the top the send button so when the user will want to send the message by writing all the information so he can press the send button to send the message so here we will be getting the footer section in which you can put anything you want like i put that design together a text paragraph about it let us help you how you can help you information about you our design then the social media icon there at the right we have put the enter your email section which is says newsletter so user can subscribe to your newsletter by entering his email and pressing subscribe and these are the social media icons which i have put in this project and we are now getting the copyright section in the end which says 2023 all right is a design by pre next template so here we are getting this so you can see how the coding is there now if i show you in responsive so this project is totally responsive which i have shared in you so you can see good looking is that it is also good looking and responsive if i show you you can see how good looking is this we are getting all the things totally responsive looking and nothing is out of the mobile design you can see and here we are getting the client reviews also which is totally responsive you can see you can use the click also to just scroll or you can just also see the auto sliding effect here you can see we are getting the contact that section as well in the mobile which is looking good with the send button the image is also good okay, we are getting then let's design together we are also getting the text paragraph about it let us help you and all that stuff and these are the you can say social media icons at the copyright section we are getting so this was the first application which we have created in this project and i hope you understand how we have created this amazing furniture application from start using uh the next year and we have used gpt code to create this so this was the first application which we have created in this uh whole next year's application project and now we will be moving on to our second application and seeing now we will be seeing that what is our second application and how we can create that second application from start using next year and what technologies we will be using in that i will be also telling you moving forward Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow. Through the sun rays and the So just like in the previous video, we have just created the furniture application, and I hope you understand the furniture application which we have created in the previous part. Now in this part, we will be creating our second application, which is portfolio application. So like I'm telling you, we will be creating four application in this video, and we have created one application which is of furniture app. Now we are creating second application which is of a uh, portfolio app now we will be starting to create this application and see that what things we are including in this amazing portfolio app so for building this here i will be moving to file and i will be pressing open folder after pressing open folder i will be moving on to my main folder you can see here it is portfolio app using nextjs 
we will be using new technologies in this uh, part of the video like in the previous uh, like in the previous project we have just used furniture app and we have just used nexus and gpt4 in that part but now in this part we will be using portfolio app with next year solidity and gpt4 so we will be using new technology in this video or in this part which is called gpt4 plus solidity and solidity we have not used in the previous part and in the previous videos as well so now in this part we will be creating next year uh, app using uh, solidity and gpt4 so now we'll be starting with this and seeing that how we are creating this second application or this uh, like in this video so this is our second application and already we have created the first application in the previous part which is of furniture app so you can check that video out now i will be moving on to the title and giving it the title as portfolio so here i will be writing portfolio app in next year but we will be using solidity as well so i will be writing solidity and gpt4 like this now you can see i have just written the title which we are building here so we are building portfolio app in next year solidity and gpt4 in the previous part we have created the furniture app using nextjs and gpt4 but we will be using same technologies means we will be using nextjs in all the app but technologies will be different in every of the app which we are building like in the previous part we have created through nextjs and gpt4 and in this part we are creating it through gpt4 solidity and nextjs so like that now we, you can see we have removed all the things from here so i will be moving in this command and i will be removing all the things from here as well giving a space from here and then you have to just do one thing like this i will be moving and i will be pressing control v to close side panel and i will be saving this file then i will be opening it in my default browser which is called google chrome so you can see here is our portfolio app which is the second app which we are creating in this video and i will be opening my index file you can see it is totally empty so i will be now doing it side by side as it is like this you can see we have done it after doing this thing you have to simply do one thing like i will be making it bigger means coding side should be bigger here and at the right side we are getting our interface side now we will be starting to create our body tag so i will be writing here body tag but remember do not create the close tag because already i have created the close tag down because i want to give here the class and because of that i have removed this so here i will be now giving it the data swipe first of all which should be as scroll then i will be writing here as data target so just write here as data target is equals to then i will be writing dot map bar and i will be now writing here data offset equal to and i will be writing it as 40 and you have to write here id as home now when you just done with this here i will be moving down and creating a nav class in nav class i will be just simply writing it as nav bar nav bar and i will be writing expand like this and i will be writing mg here you have to write nav bar live like this and then you have to write here fix top then you have to write here data dash spy and i will be writing it as fx like this now you have to just do one thing you have to write here data offset so here i will be writing data offset dash top equal to then i will be writing zero here then you have to move down and create div class as container and i will be now writing here data remove this href and in the place of it i will be writing class nav bar red and i will be now writing href and write like hashtag here image and i will be writing it as s is images and i will be now just writing here logo dot svg so here i will be writing logo dot svg here then i will be moving down after the close a tag which we have created and write here button with class as nav bar so here i will be now writing as nav bar toggle then i will be writing here type equal to button and write here data toggle equal to collapse and then you have to just write here data target equal to and i will be writing nav bar supported and i will be now writing here content then i will be writing area controls like this equal to write here nav bar supported content then you have to just write here area expanded and then you have to just write here false and write here area label again and then i will be creating area label here which should be as toggle navigation and then you have to now just uh, do one thing you have to create a span tag with class as nav bar and write here toggle and icon save and then you have to reload so you can see we are now getting this nav bar and the logo here but we are we have to now just create the nav bar menus as well so for creating this you have to give here div class as collapse nav bar and i will be writing here collapse then you have to give here id as nav bar 
support it and then you have to write your content then i will be moving down and creating ul with class as navbar nav and then you have to write your ml auto as it is then you have to write your align items center then i will be moving down and creating li with class as dev item and i will be now writing here a tag with class so i will be writing here a class which should be nav link and then you have to write here h with hashtag show then in center i will be now writing here home like this say create li with class as nav item then i will be now writing a tag and class here which should be nav link then you have to write here at with and then write here about write here about as it is create li tag and write here nav item then you have to write here a tag and remove this create edge class again which should be nav link and create edge with hashtag service and i will be writing it as service again now after writing this tag you have to now simply do one thing you have to move down and create li with class as nav item right here a tag first of all remove the h and create class as nav link right here h with hashtag and i will be writing it as portfolio then simply here and well portfolio now move down and create nav item in class and right here a tag remove this h with here and create class as nav link and right here as with hashtag and i will be writing test monion right here as it is test monion like this save then you have to create li with class as nav item and right here a tag remove this h with create nav link here right here h with hashtag and i will be writing block then i will be writing it as block then you have to give here class nav item and right here a tag remove this class like this and create nav link right here hashtag contact and here as well save then you have to create class here which should be as nav item and now i will be writing here a tag remove this h link and i will be now writing class as dash btn btn and then i will be now writing here primary then you have to write here rounded ml dash code now you have to write here h with components file here then you have to now just do one thing you have to write here components like this save then reload so if i show you you can see we are getting all the nav bar menus the button of components as well which is looking good here now after getting this stuff you have to now simply do one thing you have to move after the nav tag which we have created and after moving down here you have to create a header so here i will be now just writing here header with class as header then write here id here then you have to just write here div class container and then you have to write here div class info then you have to now write here h6 class and in class i will be now writing here subtitle then you have to now just write here hello like this and then i will be writing hi here and then you have to give here h6 class title and in title i will be writing the my name so i can just show you the difference and then you have to write here the thing which you are professional in so like i will be writing to the state developer save then you have to simply move down and create div class buttons and i will be writing pt3 then you have to give here button class and i will be now writing pt and pt and primary then i will be writing here rounded then you have to move in center and write here higher me which is the first button which we are creating then in second button i will be writing pt and primary again and then you have to just now change this primary to dark and i will be writing here rounded and here i will be writing download cd then you have to move down and create a div class again socials so here i will be writing mt4 create a tag remove the href and create class in the place of it which will be as social item and write here href then i will be creating a javascript file with void and i will be now writing it as zero then you have to write here i tag with class as and then i will be writing it as ti facebook this is the icon which we are creating then move after the close i tag and create a with class as social item again and then you have to create href with javascript and write here void zero write here i tag with class and then i will be writing it as ti google then you have to now do one thing you have to move after the a tag again create another a tag and move the h with create social class social item which is the class then create your javascript and write here void zero 
then write here i dash create class as ti dash and i will be writing here github then you have to move after the a tag create another a tag with class as social item and write here hq write here javascript so here i will be now writing javascript void so here i will be now writing here javascript void and then write here zero and then you have to write here i tag create class as ti then i will be writing here twitter save then after saving this you have to move down and create a class image folder then you have to now just do one thing you have to move down and create image source which should be ss slash and i will be writing here image slash man dot svg save then you have to create a class widget so here i will be now writing here div class widget then you have to write your div class widget dash item then you have to now write here h2 1 2 4 like this and then you have to move down and create p tag right here happy client like this then you have to create div class widget and then you have to now write here widget item then you have to create h2 4 3 6 then i will be now moving down and create p tag and i will be writing it as project completed like this save and create div class widget and i will be writing here item then you have to write here h2 7 89 then you have to move down and create awards one save and then you have to create a tag which should be a section about because we are creating another section id which will be of about right here class section and i will be writing here empty three then when you just written this you have to create here a div class container and i will be writing here empty five then you have to create div class row and i will be now writing here text center then write here text empty length then you have to now create div class as call md which should be 3 right here images slash now i will be writing it uh, as like assist slash images then i will be now writing here awaiter uh, awaiter dot jpeg now when you just run that here i will be now giving her class as image thumbnail then i will be now writing here md4 then when you just written this create here div class as pl md4 then write here call md0 then i will be moving down and create h6 with class as title then here i will be now writing my name again so i can just show you what details i am making here then create div class subtitle so i will be writing here and then write here again same thing which is real estate developer like at the top i written you can give your own profession as well which you are having then I will be writing p tag and write a simple law limit some text here. Now after writing this, you have to move down simply and create a button with class as btn and bt and primary. And then you have to now just do one thing, you have to give here rounded mt3. Just you have to write here download cv. Save it here, then you have to reload. So if I just show you my reloading, you can see we are getting hello, I am Shal with full stake developer, then hire me button with the download cv button and then all the social media icons we are getting and these are all the things then about me section in which you can put some of the information about yourself by writing your name and the some you can say one simple paragraph about yourself now after writing this you have to simply give a space after this button close tag after giving one line space you have to simply move down after the section tag because this section has been created and now we have to create a simple id section which is of services then create your class as section after writing this, you have to now create here div class as container and then you have to now write here text sentence and then you have to move down after this and create h6 and then I will be writing it as class subtitle. Then you have to now write here service and I will be moving down again create here h6 class as and I will be writing here section title. Then I will be now writing here what I do like this you can write. After writing this, you have to now simply do one thing, you have to now move down after this step. So I will be moving down, write here p tag and I will be writing here mb5 pb4. Then after writing this tag, you can write here log it some dollar sick amid and I will be writing consec ether like this and you can write header pc sync. Then you can write here elit, write in this and then I will be writing here big mesimos like this and then you have to just write a br tag then write here vlum formally so here i will be now writing then you have to write as corrupt 
write comma and write ten four a plus. Then I will be now writing ten non form. Then I will be saving it. Then you have to just do simply one thing. You have to copy this text here because we will be using this text many places in many places. So I will be now simply copy this text from here. And after copying this text, you have to give it space and create your div class as row and write your div class call md six again. Then I will be now just doing one thing. I will be writing call sm six. Write your call md three. Then you have to give a space right here md four. Then I will be now writing it as div class. Then you have to write your custom card. And write the card border like this. Then I will be just doing one thing. I will be moving down. Create card body. So I will be now writing the card body like this. And then you have to write the i tag class icon. Then you have to now just write the ti crown. Then you have to simply do one thing. You have to move down and create a tag which will be h5. And I will be writing again the same thing which is as full screen developer here. Save and then when you just return this, you have to simply do one thing. You have to move after the three divs. Create div class call sm six. Then you have to write here call md three. Write here md four. Then you have to create div class custom card. So I will be now writing here custom card. Write here card folder. Then you have to just write here div class card body. And I will be now writing here i text. Create class as i text ti text stop. Then when you just return this, you have to move down and create h five. It should be web developer. Then save it and create this class as call sm six. And then I will be now writing call md three. Write here md four. Now you have to just write here this class custom card. Write here card border. Then you have to just write here this class card body. And I will be moving down and write here class icon ti mobile. Then you have to just move down and create h five. Create here. Web design like this. Save it. Then you have to now just do a designer like this thing. Then I will be now moving down after this tag. And after moving down, you have to create this class call as M six. Write here call M B three M B four. Now you have to write here this class custom card. Write here card border. Then I will be writing here this class card body. Then I will be now writing here class icon T I. Then I will be now writing the bar chart. So then I will be writing this. Then create H5 tag in which I will be writing S U. Same here. Then after saving this, you have to move after the section tag which we have created. Then you have to reload this thing. After reloading, you can see we are getting all the things here like full screen developer, web developer, web designer, S U, and that all stuff working on. Now when you are getting these things. After moving down after this section tag, I will be creating another section tag with class as section. Then you have to write here this class as container, and I will be writing here text center. And then you have to move down and create H six with class, and I will be now writing here subtitle and create here skills. Then you have to move down and create here H six class, and I will be writing here section title, and I will be now writing here M B four. Like this, and then you have to write here why choose me, and then you have to just do one thing. You have to move down, write here p tag m b five p b four. Then I will be just writing here uh, the same tag which we have written by pasting it. Then you have to create div class row. So here I will be now writing. Then you have to write here text there. Create div class call m b. Then you have to write here call s m six like this. Then I will be moving down and write here F six with class as M B three. Then I will be now writing here Photoshop like this. Save. So here I will be now saving it. Then you have to move down and create this class progress. And then you have to move down and create this class. Then I will be writing progress again. Write here bar B three prime. Then you have to write here role is equals to progress bar. Then in center or you can say here I will be writing the style type. And in this time, then I will be giving it the width as 89%. And now you have to just close this tag here. Then you have to just do one thing. You have to write here area value now is equal to write here 25. Write here area value min means value minimum. Here you can write zero. Write here area value max is equal to 100. Create a span tag, and then in this span tag, I will be writing 89%. Move down after the two days and create a class for SM six. It should be then write here SM six class as MD three. 
then I will be now writing here back design and then you have to move down and create div class progress and then you have to now just move down again create div class progress bar and write here bb primary then I will be now writing here role progress bar so here I will be now writing role progress bar like this create style equal to width and then I will be now writing here 83% then you have to write here area value now equal to then you have to write here 25 write here area value min then I will be writing here 0 then you have to just write here area value max so here I will be now writing 100 then create a spend tag and here I will be writing 83% then you have to just create div class and then I will be writing it as call as m6 then you have to write here f6 class and I will be writing it as mv2 write here app design then save it create div class as primary then you have to just write here remove this and create progress then you have to write here div class and I will be writing here progress bar vg primary then you have to write here role equal to then I will be writing here progress bar then after writing this tag you have to create style equal to and I will be writing here width 95% then you have to close this and create area value now equal to 25 and write here area and write here value min equal to 0 now you have to give a space and write here area value max equal to 100 and create a spend tag with 95% save it here after saving this you have to move after this two diffs create diff class as call sm6 so there i will be now writing this and then you have to write here h6 with class in class i will be writing here mv3 and write here seo then you have to move down and create diff class and i will be writing it as progress and then you have to just write here div class and i will be writing it as progress bar and write here bg primary and then you have to just do one thing you have to write here role equal to progress bar then you have to just do one thing you have to create the style equal to write here width and i will be writing here 90 percent and then you have to write here area value now equal to then i will be writing 25 right here area value min equal to 0 right here area value max equal to 100 then you have to write here spend tag 90 percent now when you've done this here i will be moving down after this step with the section tag which we have created and write here section id portfolio so i will be writing it as portfolio like this then you have to now create here class as section then i will be now writing here this class container and write here text center then you have to move down and write here h6 class and i will be writing here uh, subtitle then you have to just move here and write here portfolio then you have to move down and create a tag which should be as h6 then i will be now writing here class as section title and i will be now writing here mv4 so after writing this here you have to now write here check my wonderful so I will be now writing here check my wonderful words. Then after writing this, you have to now write your B tag with class as mv5 mv4. Then you have to just now paste the text which we have copied. Then I will be just doing one thing here. Like I will be moving down. Then you have to create div class as row. And here I will be writing div class right here call sm. And then I will be now writing here 6. Or you can say here I will be changing it to call sm4. Then you have to write here dict class image wrapper and then you have to write here image ss then i will be writing here image slash olio1 then you have to now just do one thing you have to move down and create div class overlay then i will be moving down create div class overlay and i will be writing here infos then you have to write here h5 create project title so here i am not writing any project title but you can write here if you are making your own project or giving the title to it then I will be now giving here a tag and then in this a tag I will be now writing here javascript semicolon void 0 then you can just give here i tag with class and in class you can give here zoom in which is the logo or icon which we are creating here in this project title now after giving this thing you have to create another a tag and I will be creating here javascript again with void and I will be writing here 0 and in this 0 I will be writing i tag with class ti and write here link save it then you have to move down and create div class image wrapper so i will be writing this create image assist and i will be writing here image slash audio 2 
then you have to move down and create div class again which should be as image wrapper then here you have to create image assets slash and I will be writing here image folio and then I will be writing folio 6.jpg which is the file name here then you have to create div class as overlay so I will be now writing here as overlay like this then you have to create here div class overlay in post and I will be now writing here h5 create project title then you have to move down and create a tag, create javascript void like this then I will be now writing here 0 create i tag class ti and I will be writing here zoom in then you have to just do one thing here like I will be moving down after the a tag which we have created here then again you have to create a tag write here javascript void then write here 0 then you have to create i tag create class ti link save it then you have to now do one thing, you have to just move down after the uh, divs which we have created. So we have created the uh, 3, 4, 5 divs. So you can see these are the 5 divs which we have created. I will be giving space here. Then move down after the section tag and create id as testimonial. So I will be now writing here as it is. Create class as section. Then you have to write here div class container. And then I will be giving a space and two. I will be writing here as text center. Then you have to just write here at six class s and write here subtitle. Then I will be writing here testimonial like this. Then I will be moving down and create at six and write here class s section title and I will be writing here mv4. Then you have to just write here what people say about me like this. Then I will be moving down and create field tag. Write here class as mv5 and write here pv4. Then you have to just write here the same text which we have written by pasting it. Then you have to now move down, create div id, and I will be writing it as carousel example indicators. So here I will be now writing indicators like this. Write here class carousel and I will be writing here slide. Then I will be just writing data right equal to write here carousel. Then I will be now writing here ol class and then you have to write here carousel indicators then I will be now writing here li data target equal to write here carousel example indicator so here I will be now writing this then you have to write here data slide to equal to 0 create class and in class I will be writing here as active then you have to just do one thing you have to move after the li then create another li then data target and I will be writing carousel example indicator write here data slide 2 and then you have to write here 1 then move down and create li data target equal to carousel example indicator write here data slide 2 equal to 2 then you have to create div class as and I will be writing it as carousel inner and then you have to write here div class carousel and I will be writing it as item active then you have to now write here div class card then I will be writing testimonial and then you have to write here card border then you have to write here div class card and I will be now just writing here card body then you have to just write here image ss then write here image slash awaiter one dot data. then you have to move down create field tag and paste the same text which we have copied or you can say you can use the different tag but I think you can use the same text but one thing is common and then just remove this br tag which is in the center of it because we will be rotating and I will be copying the same text here because we will be using this text in the down tags as well so I will be now just copying this and then you have to just simply do one thing you have to write here h1 class title and in title I will be writing the name of the user like this I can write umar like when the name I have written write here class as subtitle and then in center I will be writing this time like graphic designer like this randomly then you have to just save it and then reload so if I just show you by reloading so you can see we are just getting by choose me and by choose me we are getting all the sections like photoshop, web design, app design, seo and that all section then if I scroll down so we are getting check out my wonderful work this is the portfolio section you can see we are getting all the things in this portfolio section the, uh, user profile work so the client can check the work here of the user and we are also getting a hover effect in which we are getting the project link and the search box here then if I scroll down so we are now getting the what people say about me this is the first testimonial reviews about us then here you can just create another review so here I will be writing like this carousel item 
so i will be creating like this div carousel item like this i can create then you can create a class as cart testimonial and there i will be now just creating a cart tag so here we have now create cart testimonial then you can do one thing here like i can write cart testimonial cart then i will be writing here cart testimonial cart border then i will be just now making here cart body like this then you have to just write image as a slash image slash and then you have to write here avatar two dot jpeg then move down and create field tag paste the same tag which we have copied write here h1 and then you have to give here class as title now you can give a different name here like i can write here james bird then again you have to create h1 in which i will be writing subtitle and in subtitle you can just write the web developer then you have to say then i will be just moving down after the three dots again create class as carousel item then you have to just create div class card testimonial and then i will be now writing testimonial card border then you have to move down and create div class card body then i will be just creating image assist and i will be writing it as image and then i will be writing here slash avatar then you have to write here avatar three dot jpeg then you have to move down create field tag and paste the tag which we have copied create h1 class as title and then i will be writing here michael like this and i will be writing here avatar Save and then you have to move down and create here H1 class. Write here subtitle. Then here I will be writing web designer like this. Save and then when you just written this, you have to move after the section tag which is here. And after moving down after the section tag, you have to create a block section. So I will be giving her ID as block like this. And then after giving it as it is, you have to create her class as section. Then I will be now writing her div class as container. Then you have to give here text center as well. Then I will be now writing here H6. Give here class as subtitle. Then here I will be writing my blocks. Then you have to move down create H6 again with class as section title. And I will be writing here MB4. In this you can write the latest news. So here I will be removing this S from here. Then move down and create P tag with class as MB5 and write here PB4. Then in this I can just paste the text which we have copied here, and then you can do one thing: you can move down, create div class as row, and write here text there. Yeah. Then you have to write here div class call and the code. Then you have to move down and create div class start border, and I will be writing here and the code as it is. Write here image assist image slash block one dot jpeg. Then you have to create here class start image stop. And then you have to write here W hundred, which means that width should be hundred here. Then after writing the width of it here, we will be moving down after the image close tag. So this was the tag of image, and there is no close tag of image. So I will be moving down directly after this image tag, and I will be giving it class as start body. And then after giving it like this, you have to now simply move down and create H five as start body. Then you have to write here H five class again. Then I will be writing it as start title here. So here I will be now doing one thing. I will be writing a card title here in this H5 like this. After writing this, you can write a design for everyone. So here I am writing like this design for everyone. Then you have to move down and create this class. As I will be writing the post details. Then I will be moving down and writing the JavaScript void. And I will be now writing the zero. Then you can write the post it by. And I will be writing the admin. Then after writing this tag, you can just write here JavaScript void. So I will be writing here. Then you can write zero. Create i tag with class s t i come up. So I will be now writing this. Then you can just move down after this tag, or you can say after this close i tag, I will be creating 456. Then move down and create a tag. Write here JavaScript void. So I will be writing here and create zero. And write here i tag. So I will be now writing the right tag like this class T I. Then I will be now writing the comment. Then you have to save and then after this I tag I will be creating one two three. This is the number value which we have created now. Then I will be moving down after this div value write P tag and paste the text which we have written. Then after pasting this text you have to write here JavaScript again. Then I will be writing it as void zero and I will be now writing the read more. Then you have to now just write here three dot save it. Or you can write here two dots. Then I will be moving down and create a div class call md4. Then you have to write here div class call 
or you can say card border and I will be now writing here mp4 then you have to write here image ss slash image slash blog and I will be now writing here to create here class so here I will be now creating class as start image top w100 which means with 100 then I will be moving down again and create with class and I will be writing here card body then you have to just move down and create h5 class as start title so here I will be writing there in center I will be writing web layouts then I will be just writing here div class and then I will be just writing here code details then you have to just now write here javascript void so here I will be now writing here then you have to write here 0 write posted by then you have to write here admin then when you just written this you have to create javascript void and then I will be writing here 0 so here I will be now just writing here 0 and then you have to write here i tag and in i tag I will be creating class sti comma so here I will be now writing this after writing this you have to just now make this tag and create after this a tag I will be writing here 456 before that close a tag then you have to create a tag again write here javascript void and then I will be writing here 0 create i tag and then I will be writing here class sti comment then after this close Close i tag, I will be creating one, two, three, like at the top we have created. Write here p tag and paste the text which we have copied. After doing this, we have to now simply move down and create a tag. Write here javascript void. Write here zero and then in this I will be writing read more. Write here two dot. Save it and move down after that. We just create another div class called mb4. Then that write here div class card border. Write here mb4. Then when you just written this, you have to create image assist and I will be writing here image slash block 3. Now when you just written this, you have to create card image top, write here w100 which is called width 100. Then you have to write here div class card body and then you have to write here h5, create class as start title. Then here I will be writing bootstrap framework like this I can write. Then you can just move down and create div class post details then you can just now write here a tag javascript void and then we are using here uh, next yes so because of that i have written the different framework of this step. now when you just done that you can write a post it by admin or you can give your name as well create another a tag with javascript void this time i will be writing here zero and here i will be writing i tag class ti comma then I will be now just doing one thing, I will be moving after this, right here 456. Then you have to just do one thing, you have to create again, right here javascript void, right here 0 and then I will be writing i tag again. After this you have to create class ti come up, so I will be writing here ti come up. Then uh, in the place of it I can write ti comment. Then here I will be writing 1, 2, 3. Save it. Then you have to move down, okay, just after this div tag create p tag here and then you have to paste the text which we have copied then you have to now write here a tag create javascript and i will be writing here void again then here i will be writing zero then in center i will be moving and creating read mode so we are using javascript as the front end so because of that we are using javascript in the next year's here save it and then reload so if i show you you can see we are getting the testimonial section with the sliders which are working you can see good looking with these sliders so these are working perfectly when I am just sliding here and then if I just show you down you can see these are the block section and we are getting all the blocks working as well which is looking good. After getting these all blocks here I can just do one thing I can create another tag after the close section tag. So you can see this is the close section tag which we are getting. Then after moving down you have to create another section tag with class as bg gray. Then I will be now writing it as p0 and then you have to write your section create div class as container here then i will be now writing here div class as card pg primary so i will be now writing here and then after writing this you have to create div class then you have to write here card body and i will be writing here text line then you have to now write here div class row and i will be writing here align items center like this and then you have to just now write here div class call as at line then you have to create text center after writing this, you have to now write your text S and left. Then I will be now just writing here H5. Create class as MT3. Then I will be now writing here higher me for 
your project like this. Then when you just written this, you have to save it. And then after saving, move forward after the float x5 tag. And then here I will be writing p tag. Right cell class, which should be as mb3. Then here I will be now just writing a tag which should be as a sanitium laboratory. Like this, and I will be writing here nostrum. And after writing this, you can write this semi-v3 like this. And then I will be writing voice form. Then you have to just move down and create div class as call sm3. Then I will be writing the text center. Then you have to just write your text sm, right? Then you have to now write the button class and I will be writing here beating and beating and light. And you can see we have written this. So here I will be writing rounded as well. Then here I will be writing hire me button with this mark. Save it. Move down after the section tag here. Create another section id as contact. And then I will be writing here class as position and I will be writing here relative section. Then you have to move down and after moving down here I will be creating div class as container and then you have to write here text center. So here I will be now writing this. Then you have to write here f6. So here I will be writing class as subtitle right here contact. Then you have to move down and after moving down I will be now just creating f6 again with class as section title then in center I will be now just moving here and write here mb4 then in here I will be writing get in touch so I will be writing get in touch with me then when you just written this here I will be moving down after this h6 tag and create p tag and in this p tag I will be creating a class as well in class I will be writing mb5 pb4 then you have to just move in center and paste the text which we have just copied here so this was the text here then I will be moving down and creating a div class. And in this div class, I will be now just writing here the contact as text left. So I will be writing that. Then you have to create div class as form. So I will be now just writing the div class form as it is. Then write here f6 class as and I will be writing the subtitle. Then in center, I will be writing here available 24 7 slash 7 like this. Then you have to move down and create h6 and then you have to write here as section and I will be writing here title dash and I will be writing here mb4. Then you have to just do one thing you have to write here get in touch. Then I will be moving down create form tag and remove this action from here because we will be not needing create div. Then I will be now writing here div form group like this I will be writing then write here input type email. Then I will be writing here class form control and I will be writing here id example input and I will be writing here email one. Then write here area and I will be writing here describe by equal to and I will be writing here email help. Then you have to now give a space create here placeholder as enter email. So I will be now writing here enter email. In capital you can write enter email like this and create here required. Then you have to just move down and create div class form group. So here I will be now writing right here input type. Then I will be writing here password. Then create class form control. And then I will be writing here ID. Then you have to write here example input password. And I will be writing here one. Create placeholder. Write here password. And I will be writing here required. Now you have to create div class as form group. So here I will be now writing this. Create input type. And I will be writing here. Uh, like this you can see we have just written this so I will be removing this input first of all and in the place of it I will be writing here text area then I will be removing this name id columns and rows which we are getting here and after removing this you can just write here name contact and I will be writing here message create id empty and I will be writing columns 30 and write here rows 5 then you have to give here class as form control and I will be now writing here placeholder and then you have to create message then you have to now just do one thing, you have to create button type which should be submit and then you have to create class as BDN, BDN primary then you have to write here BDN block and I will be writing here rounded write here WLG, create send message now when you just written this you have to create save control S you have to write then you have to now create contact infos so here I will be now writing contact dash infos then you have to now write here div class i tag. Here I will be writing i tag with class STI location and I will be now writing here pin. Then you have to write here div class empty. So I will be writing as it is. 
right here h5 only which should be as location so i will be now writing as location then you have to now write here p tag 1 2 3 4 5 and i will be now writing here fake sp so this you have to write here fake sp capital no here so here i will be now writing a b or you can say path and then i will be writing here cut. save then after saving this tag you have to move after that to this create div class item and then you have to now just do one thing move down create i tag class ti mobile and i will be now just doing one thing i will be moving down right here div catch 5 and then you have to write here phone number then you have to move down and write here p tag create 1 2 3 and then i will be writing 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 which is the thing we have written then you have to create div class item here i will be writing i tag and in ITAG, I will be now writing here TI email. Then you have to just now move down to your dev class MP0. Then you have to write here H5 and write email address. So here I will be now moving down and creating a tag which is SP and write here info at the rate. Or you can say I can write my name here. Thank you for the at the rate gmail.com save. Then after saving this thing, here I will be now moving down after the div. So here we have created five divs. So I will be moving down after these five divs here. Then after moving down, you have to write here div ID. So I will be now writing here div ID as well. Then you have to now write here I frame. Then you have to just now write here source HTTPS slash and write here snazzy maps.com slash and I will be writing here in time slash and write here 61257. Save it. Then I will be now doing one thing, I will be removing this frame border which we are getting here and then after removing this you have to just move down after this section tag here and then you have to write here footer class and I will be writing it as page footer. So here I will be now moving down and creating this class container and I will be now writing here this class row align right here item center. Right here this class then I will be now just writing here call sm6 and write here p tag and you have to write here copy right like this now you have to create a script tag here in which i will be now writing here document dot write like this i am writing the javascript tag to define the front end of this then i will be now writing here new date like this and create here open tag close tag dot get to here so here i will be now writing open close tag then to it after doing this thing you have to move after the uh, this script tag and create at the rate copy like this and then I will be now writing another a tag in which I will be writing http slash write here www dot depth root then I will be writing dot com write here target like this and write here equal to underscore blank then you have to now write here depth root like this save it then you can just do one thing you can just not give a space here so after writing this, I will be writing here div class call mv6. Then I will be now writing here div class socials. So here I will be writing and then you have to write here a tag and create class as social item. Then you have to write here h with javascript like this and then write here void 0. Write here i tag with class as ti facebook. Then you have to move down and then create another a tag. Remove this h with here create class as social item and then i will be moving forward so just now here if i just show you you can see we are just getting all the things here and now i will be creating here again javascript void like i'm telling you and then i will be writing here the value as zero create another i tag with class as ti and this time i will be now writing here google like this after writing this tag you have to move down after this a tag and create another a tag with class and in class i will be now writing here social item so i will be now writing it as social item Create HF and I will be writing here as JavaScript void and I will be writing here zero. Create I tag with class STI and I will be writing here as GitHub. Then after writing this thing, you have to now just do one thing. You have to create A tag, remove this href here and create class in the place of it, which should be as social. And I will be now writing here item create href JavaScript void and I will be now writing here zero. Then you have to create I tag with class STI and I will be now writing here as to it like this then you have to save it after saving this you have to move after the footer tag you can see we have just created that and then remember one thing you have to create another close tag here so we can just get the tags working now you can see we are getting the tag here and then here i will be doing like this after doing that all this stuff i will be removing the space which we are getting too much space from here so i can just give the 
tags working. You can see now all the things are working, and now we are getting all the things here. So I will be saving this and then reload. After reloading, if I show you, so you can see we are getting get in touch section, which is the contact form section. Then at the back, we are getting all the maps, which we are getting. You can see good looking if this all map is. Then down, we are getting the copyright section as well. And these are icons working. You can see this, which is looking good. So if I show you here by full screen image, you can see this was our project, which we have created successfully. And this was our amazing portfolio application, which I want to show you how you can create. So you can see we are getting the logo here. And then we are getting all the uh, nav bar menus, which I was just showing you. To the burger menu. Then here on the landing page, you can see I'm getting hello. I am in Shalvik like this. You can also put any name. You can put your name as well or any other name. I just put my name to show you the difference. Then I put the profession of the user. You can put any profession. I put full stack developer. You can put web designer, web developer, front end developer, back end developer like that. Then you can see we have just put the button of hire me. User can hire you. A client can hire you by pressing this hire me button. Then you, they can also download your CV by pressing this download CV button. Then these are all the links of social media about the user. So client can review your social medias uh, by pressing these icons. So the main icon which is uh, which everybody use in their pro portfolio app or in their portfolio website is of LinkedIn. LinkedIn is really compulsory when you are applying for job or when you are uh, just giving any client work, so your LinkedIn should be perfectly and professionally developed, so the user can see things on your LinkedIn like your certificates, like your profiles, how you join with people, how many companies hire you, that all stuff. So LinkedIn is really important. You have to put LinkedIn logo as well. I'm just showing you, for example, what icons you can put, but the main icon in this is LinkedIn. I've not put the LinkedIn icon, but I'm just giving you example like what icons you can put, but. My opinion is to put the LinkedIn icon because it is really compulsory. And now you can see I have also put the vector image, but this is your choice. You put vector image or your own image, but I prefer you to put your own image at the right side so the user can see how you are professionally developed, how you are looking, and your professional style what is so they can see all that. Then you can also put the things like how many people or how many clients are happy from you. So I have written. 124 happy clients, then 456 projects I completed, and I'm to win 789 hours. Like this, you can put any of the things which you have uh, achieved in your career till the end. Then down, you can put a some uh, about me section in which you can put some of the things about your own self. I've written uh, example paragraph, but it's your choice. You can put here the things which you want to put so the user can read the things here and they can. If they are interested in you, so they can hire you by pressing this download CV and they can also check your CV by downloading your CV. Then down we are getting what service you will provide to your client. So you will be providing holistic developer services, then web developing services, web designing services and SEO services to your users. You will be providing them. You can give short paragraph about your services like how you provide, why you provide these services or that all stuff. Then you can just see uh, and you can just also put the skill section in which you can just tell the clients why to choose me so you can just put the capability of your work like you know photoshop till here i know uh, app design till here web design till here and seo till here in the graph you can just add these all stuff then we are also getting a short paragraph about me section in this skill section so you can put any of the thing in this short paragraph about your own self here then if i scroll down so this is the wonderful work section in which you will be getting all the portfolio works which you have created you can put some of the portfolio works here which are best which you have created for your client, so you can put the best work which you have created yet. And if the client is satisfied with your work, so they can hire you for their work as well. You can see how good looking is this all stuff. I've also put the pop up hover effect or animated hover effect from the top, which is looking really awesome. You can see. And if I scroll down, so we are get now getting the testimonial section in which you can put the reviews about the testimonials, what your testimonial says about your work. So you can just put three or two, three to five testimonial reviews. Here you can put and you can also just put a simple paragraph about your testimonial, what they say or what you say about your testimonial, how they like your work. Then you can also just put the blogs. You can put the latest news, your blogs, which you can just put here so the user can read more about your blogs and they can read what work you have created yet, what frameworks do you use and that all things. Then we are also getting hire me for your project so user can hire you from here as well. Then if he want to contact with you, so he can contact through this contact form by writing his email, password and message. And if you are having any office or if you are having email address, you can put here as well. But somebody or some people does not have the location of office. So 
it's not compulsory to put the location in the place of location you can also put the website link or any other link which is compulsory for you so user can contact you from there as well so this was the thing and then they can send press the send message button to send the message to you through their email now if i scroll down we are getting the copyright section you can put any of the name you can put your name as well after the copyright section then these are links again which i have just put at that top so this was the amazing portfolio application which we have created and if i just show you by response in responsive so it is totally responsive which we are creating you can see now which we have which we are creating this portfolio app which was a totally responsive i am telling you it is app so obviously app is responsive for mobile device as well so you can see this totally responsive for mobile you will be getting all the empire menus working in mobile here and then you can use an empire menus as well to move on to the about services section here you can also use portfolio testimonials blog contact section and you can also move on to the component section here in which you will be getting all the components here of the users you can see you can see in any device here i am seeing in iphone se you can just see it in iphone xr it is totally responsive in that device as well you can also watch it in pixel 5 samsung galaxy s8 plus or any other mobile you are having you can just see in that as well so this was our amazing project which i want to show you and this was our second application which we have created in this video and i am telling you that we will be creating four applications in this video here to next year using different technology so the second application of uh, portfolio app we have created it through next year solidity and gpt core and the furniture app we have created it through next year and only gpt core now we will be moving on to the next part of the video and see that how we are building our third application and what technologies we are using in that third application from the start so now we will be moving on to the next part and seeing that how we are creating our third application and what technologies we will be using in that application from the start hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side Chasing, leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on. So just like I'm telling you that we will be creating four application in this amazing project here, and now yet we have created two application which was really amazing. One was of furniture app, and second one was other app. And I hope you understand that app which we have created. Now we are creating another app here, which will be our third app, and we will be creating an adventure app in this third part here. This is our third app, and we are creating an adventure app in this third part. Which we are just creating, and we will be using some of the languages like we will be using Next.js, Web3, and GPT-4 to build this amazing adventure app here. So now we'll be starting with that and seeing that how we are creating our third application in this video, and how we are creating and what technologies we'll be using. So just I will be now opening my folder here. So I will be moving on to downloads, and you can see here it is adventure app in Next.js, Web3, and GPT-4. So I will be directly opening this app here by pressing select folder. After opening this app, you can see we are getting all the folders here. So we will be now moving on to the main file, and here we will be working with this file. So I will be now moving down and removing all the things which we are getting here because we will be not needing these all things in our file. So I will be just moving at the top, and then I will be removing that all stuff till there. So just you have to move here, and then you have to just now move down and like this. We have to remove. So after doing that thing, you have to move down, and then you have to just save this file. After saving, just I will be moving on to my main file here, which is called as style. Because in this file, we will be getting all of our styling code which we want related to this file here. So now, for working with this, you have to simply do one thing: you have to now move here, and then these are all the colors, so we will be not needing that here. Then I will be now moving here and removing that all stuff from here like this. After removing this thing, you have to simply move down, and then you have to save this file. Then I will be moving on to my main file, and I will be Just doing one thing, I will be opening this file in my default browser, which is Google Chrome. So I will be closing this folder here, press Control V and save this file. After saving, just I will be now pressing Enter, so I can just give some space from down. Then I will be zooming in as well. 
and after doing that all stuff here you have to simply do one thing you have to now move in your folder and where you have just put this while you have to open from that location so you can see here is our adventure app which we will be creating using Nexus web 3 and GPT-4 and this is our third app in this video so I will be opening this and I will be opening it in my default browser which is called Google Chrome so you can see here is our Google Chrome browser and you can see only we are getting our written and all the things are empty here so I will be now doing it side by side so I can get all the codes working then I will be making the coding side bigger here by just using the mouse and then I will be doing one thing like now I will be starting writing the code but now I will be just zooming out some while because it was just too much zoom in now after writing this body tag you have to create a div tag in this div tag we will be creating a header so for creating that you have to simply give some spacing from down like two line space you can give after giving that space you have to now create a div tag and in this I will be creating a class as header underscore section then you have to move down and create div class as header underscore main then you have to simply move down again and create here div class as I will be writing here mobile underscore menu then I will be moving down and create nav class and I will be writing it as navbar navbar and write here expand and I will be writing it as lg then you have to give a space and write here navbar light and I will be now writing here bg light then you have to move down and create div class and write here logo underscore mobile and then you have to write here a tag and create index file then i will be now writing it as image images slash logo dot png then i will be now moving down after this close a tag and after this close div create here button tag and i will be now creating here class as well which should be as that part toggler then create type as button so i will be now writing here type as button then write here data toggle equal to and i will be writing it as collapse write here data target equal to I will be now writing here nav bar nav then you have to write here area and I will be now writing it as area controls nav bar nav like this and after writing this tag you have to move forward and then I will be now moving here and then I will be writing here area expanded so I will be now writing here area expanded equal to false and I will be writing here area label then I will be writing it as top of navigation then when you've written this thing, just we have to now move down and create here to spend time. And I will be now writing it as class map bar toggler. And I will be writing here icon. Then you have to create this after the close button tag. And here I will be creating collapse map bar. And I will be now writing here collapse. Create here ID. And in ID, I will be writing nav bar nav like this. Then you have to move down and create UI tag with class as nav bar nav again. And after writing this, you have to now move down and create li class and I will be writing it as nav item. Then you have to create a tag, remove this h with first of all and create a tag in which I will be writing class as nav link. And then I will be also writing here h as my main file link and I will be writing here move. Then you have to create another li tag. So I will be writing another li tag with nav item and create a tag again. Remove this h and create class as nav link and write here h and in active, I will be now writing here about like this and create li class nav item. And I will be now writing here a tag, write here class as nav link. Then I will be now writing here active services and then I will be now writing here services like this. And then when you've just written this thing, just you have to now uh, do one thing like I will be moving down and creating class as nav item. And I will be now moving here and creating class nav link. And then you have to write here as blog file. Then I will be now writing here blog as it is and create li class nav item. Then I will be now writing here a tag and write here class as nav link. And then you have to create a script as contact file. So here I will be now writing that and then you have to write here contact save. And after saving this, you have to now move after the nav and the div tag which we have created. And I will be creating a class as container fluid. Then I will be now writing a div class logo like this. Then you have to write an index file. Then I will be now writing image, image slash, and I will be writing the logo.png. Then you have to move after the close div which we have created here. And then create here a div as menu under store main. Then after writing this all stuff, you have to now move down and create ul li class as active. And then you have to write here a tag. And here I will be now writing. Here. 
then you have to just move down and create li and here i will be now writing a tag right about here in the center then create li a tag in which i will be now writing here services and write here as well then create another li a tag here i will be now writing block file here as well i will be writing block now when you've written this you have to create li a tag in which i will be now writing here contact and i will be writing here contact us like this then you have to save this and after saving this you have to now simply move down after the three digits and create here diff class as banner and then i will be now writing here underscore section layout underscore padding now when you've written this you have to create div id and in div id i will be writing here carousel example and i will be now writing here slides only like this then you have to create class as carousel slide and write here data ride equal to carousel then you have to simply move down and create diff class as carousel inner and write here diff class carousel item and i will be writing here active then when you have written this you have to create diff class as container and i will be now writing here h1 class and i will be writing here banner underscore data and then you have to write here adventure then i will be moving down and creating here beta and then you have to create class as banner and i will be now writing underscore text then here i will be now just writing a text which says there are many variations then i will be writing of packages of lorem ipsum then i will be now writing here available like this and after writing this i will be now just writing here but the majority uh, have suffered there are many available then i will be writing but the majority and i will be now just writing here uh, have suffered now when you have written this thing just you have to simply do one thing you have to copy this text here from start where from where we have just written so i will be now copying this text from start you can see here i have now copied by pressing control c and then you have to move down create div with class as read bt and now we'll be creating a button a tag and i will be writing it as get a code like this now it's safe till here and then reload so you can see now we are getting a word written here and then f1 menu all the f1 menus like we are getting our effect as well and then we are getting adventure written here with the button which is having a beautiful hover effect and we are also getting there are many variation means a paragraph like we want so this is a home page which we have created now we have to create a slider effect as well so we can just slide these things as well so for that you have to move after the tool that which we have created and create here this class as carousel dash item and then you have to write here this class container then i will be now writing h1 class banner and i will be writing under the school data then here i will be writing adventure then you have to move down and create banner under score text then here i will be now pasting the text which we have copied and then i will be writing it as if class b under score bt and i will be now writing here a tag then you have to write here get a code like this save and then you have to now create this class as carousel item and i will be now writing here this class container then you have to now write here h1 class banner under score data and then after writing this you have to write here adventure again then you have to create a p tag with banner under score this time i will be now changing to banner under score text and here i will be pasting the text again then you have to create this class and i will be writing it as read under score pt and write here a tag then i will be writing get a code then you have to save it and after saving this tag you have to now simply move after the code so you can see this is the p45 and then i will be giving a space here then you have to now create this class as services under score section then i will be now writing here layout under score padding and after writing this you have to now create this class container and then you have to write here h1 class service services state on and i will be now writing here services as well then you have to now write here the tag and i will be now writing it as services under score text and i will be now just pasting this here after pasting this you have to now create this class and i will be now writing here services then i will be now writing here services section under score two then i will be now writing here this class row and then you have to write here this class all and the code now you have to write here this image and i will be writing it as images slash image one 
then when you written this you have to now move forward after this tag and create here a class as services underscore image now you have to just move after the close that which we have created here you can see and then you have to now create the class btn main and i will be now just writing the array tag create routing like this save it and then you have to now create this class and i will be writing call md4 then you have to write here div image image slash and i will be writing image2 then you have to write here class services so here i will be now writing like this services underscore image now when you just written this you have to now move down and create div class and i will be writing pt and main and i will be writing here active then you have to now just write here a tag which should be like i can save it now after writing this you have to now move down and create this class as call md4 and then i will be writing images slash again and create image 3 dot png then you have to write here class services underscore image now you have to move after the div here which we have created close it create a class in this which should be bt and main and then in this i will be writing a tag here i will be writing cap save here then i will be reloading and you can see we are just getting the services in services section we are getting like rafting here then we are getting hiking and we are also getting camping like these all things which i was just writing here now after getting that all stuff you have to move after the five lives here which we have created so you can see now i will be moving down under these lives and creating a div class as about under its code section and i will be writing here layout padding now you have to create div class container and i will be writing here fluid then you have to write here div class row and i will be now writing here div class call md6 then you have to write here div class write here about data so i will be now writing here about data underscore new then you have to write here h1 again and create class as about data and i will be now writing here about us so here i will be now writing then create p tag with class as about text then i will be now just pasting this text here after pasting this you have to now simply move down and create div class and i will be writing here read more underscore bt and then you have to write this tag and create read more. Then you have to just move down and create div class as all md6 and write the padding underscore write. Then write here 0. And then you have to write here div image image slash about image dot png. Create here about underscore image. Now you have to move down after the four divs here. Then you have to create div class and I will be writing it as block section. And you have to write here layout underscore padding. Then you have to create div class as container. And I will be now writing here h1 class and write a block data like this. So here I will be now writing block data. And in center I will be writing C our video. And then you have to move down and write here p tag block. And I will be writing here text. Then you have to paste this here. And after pasting the text, you have to simply now create a div as play icon. And I will be now writing here play item main and create this class right here play item. Then you have to now write here a tag and create image images slash like this and create play item dot png. Then you have to move down after the three tips which we have created and then you have to create a client section here. So I will be now writing it as client underscore section and I will be writing here layout value. Then you have to write here this class as container. And then you have to now give here h1 class and I will be now writing it as slide. Then I will be now writing here data. Then in center I will be now writing testimonial. So I will be writing here testimonial like this. Save it here and then reload thing here. Now if I show you so you can see we are getting the services section. Then this is the about the section here in which we are getting see our video and all these sections and then we are getting testimonial which we have written here and we are now creating the section of testimonial. So now here we have to just write here div class and I will be writing here client underscore section and I will be now writing it as two. Then when you've written this, you have to create a div ID here. And in div ID, I will be writing carousel example and I will be writing here indicators like this. Now when you've written this, you have to create carousel slide. Then I will be now also writing here data right and I will be now writing here carousel. Then you have to move down and create ol class and i will be writing it as carousel indicators like this and then you have to move down 
right here li data target equal to and you have to write here kerogen example indicators then you have to give a space and write here data slide two and i will be writing equal to zero and write here class in class i will be writing echo now you have to move down and create li data target again equal to kerogen example indicator and i will be writing here data slide two and i will be now writing here one then you have to move down again and create li data target equal to carousel example indicator data slide 2 and i will be writing it as 2 only now when you've written this thing just you have to move after the ol tag which we have created and after moving down you have to now create your div class as carousel in it so i will be now writing here carousel in it then you have to also create carousel item like this and then i will be now just writing here active then when you just create this thing just you have to now do one thing as well like i will be moving down creating here div class as client and i will be now writing here client name then you have to create here div class and i will be writing it as box under scroll there and write here free tag as lorem under scroll there then you have to create a lorem of some text here then i will be now writing here div class as box right and then you have to write here div class client under scroll data and i will be now writing here there then you have to create div class and i will be writing here client image like this and then you have to now just write here images slash and i will be writing it as client image or png then you have to move down and create div class quick icon so i will be now writing here then create images slash and write here quick icon dot png save it then i will be now writing here client and i will be now writing here data under score right and write here as code class and i will be now just doing one thing i will be now moving here and writing client name then here i will be writing any names i will be now writing here my name like this and now i will be just moving here and writing here class customer then i will be now just writing here customer text in which i will be now writing here customer save and then i will be moving down and creating this class carousel item again here then write here div class client name so i will be now writing here then create div class box left so i will be writing here again then write here div class lorem left and after writing this you have to now uh, just you have to do one thing you have to now write here box left and create free tag lorem left this time and write here lorem with some text like this now when you just written this thing just you have to now move down and create div class box right then i will be moving down again and creating the class client data and i will be now writing the right or you can say here i will be now writing here then i will be just writing the class client and then you have to save here client image right here images slash then i will be now writing it as client image or png then when you written this here you have to simply Move down. So here I will be now just doing one thing. I will be moving down and creating this class. Write here quick icon. So I will be writing it as it is. And then you have to create images slash. And I will be writing here quick icon. Then you have to create here this class. And I will be writing here client data. And I will be now writing here right. Then create h code. And I will be writing here client underscore name. Then I will be now writing here again. But you can just write any other name like this. Then I will be now moving here and create free tag class, and I will be writing customer text. Then I will be writing here customer, save it. Then I will be moving down after this tag and create this class, and write here carousel. So here I will be now writing carousel item. Then I will be now writing here client underscore name. Then you have to now just write here client underscore name, and I will be now writing here div class box there. And here I will be now just doing one thing. I will be now moving here by pressing Control Z. So I will be now writing here. Then I will be writing box left like this and create a free tag with lorem under scroll there. So here I will be now writing here lorem like this. Then write here lorem text like this. Now you have to just move down. And here I will be now just writing a tag which should be like box right. So here I will be now writing class as box right. Then I will be moving down and create this class client, and I will be now writing here data left. Then you have to write this class, and I will be now writing here client 
underscore image where i will be now just writing here images slash and i will be writing here client image or png then i will be moving down after the close date here and create dip class quick underscore icon and then i will be now just writing image again images slash quick icon dot png save it then create dip class as client underscore data then i will be writing here right then you have to create h4 class and i will be writing client name so i will be now writing here then you can just write here like much like this i can write the name then create here customer text then i will be now writing here customer like this save it then if i show you by reloading so you can see we are getting the text testimonial reviews you can see this and we are getting different customer names with the different lorem tag you can see so it is looking really awesome you can just get that so now we are getting all that stuff working now i will be moving down after the diffs which we have created so now i will be moving down after the diffs so we have created by 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 So now I will be moving down after the nine diffs. So this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are the nine diffs, and I will be moving down after these diffs to create another diff class as choose under score section. Then I will be now writing the layout padding. Then you have to create your diff class as container. So I will be now writing here press control. Okay. I will be now writing here. Container. Then I will be writing H1 class as choose underscore data, and here I will be writing Y chooses like this. Then you have to now create P tag with class as choose text. So here I will be now writing. Then create here lorem text like this. After writing this text, you have to now simply do one thing. You have to move down after this tag and create dip class as read underscore PT1. Then I will be now writing here read here. After writing this, we have to now move down after this tag, after this close div tag which we have created. You can see, and here I will be now writing this class as newsletter. So I will be now writing here newsletter underscore box. Then I will be writing here h1 class as I will be writing here let text, and then I will be now writing here let star top, and I will be now writing here let star top to this. Create div class, and I will be now writing here get code. Underscore bt and I will be now writing here like this tag and write here get a code. So here I will be now writing. Then save it and here you have to move down and create this class. Here I will be now writing footer underscore section. Now you have to just move down after this and then I will be writing here layout underscore padding and then I will be now writing it as this class as input. Now you have to create this class as input. And I will be now writing here BT and name, and then I will be moving down and creating input type text which is already written here, and create class as mail underscore text. Then you have to create here placeholder, and in placeholder I will be writing enter your email, and here I will be writing name, enter your email like this. Then I will be just doing one thing. I will be creating here div class subscribe BT. Then I will be now writing the rate tag, and in which I will be writing subscribe like this. Create this class, and I will be now writing here as location underscore mail, and I will be now just moving down and creating here this class as call underscore text, and I will be now moving here and creating images slash, and I will be now just writing here call icon dot png, and here you have to move down again after the close it, and create here this class as call underscore text. Right here, images slash, and I will be writing this tag and create data is here. And here I will be now writing call plus zero one one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. This is the random number which I have written. Then you have to create if class call underscore text, and I will be now writing here images slash, and I will be now writing mail icon dot png. And then you have to move down after this div and create another div text call underscore text. And right here, read tag, and then I will be now writing here like this. I'll be one two four three at the rate email dot com. Save it here. Now after saving this tag, you have to now move down and create this class as social. And I will be now writing here icons. Then I will be now moving, and then I will be removing this tag and create ul tag. And right here, li read tag and write image images slash. And I will be writing fb icon dot png. Then you have to move down after this li tag and create data, create images slash, and I will be now writing the Twitter icon 
like this and write here li a tag and I will be now writing here images slash and I will be writing here limited in I think. Then like this we have to move down again and create a tag with image images slash and I will be now writing here Instagram save it. Then you have to move after that three div then create diff class copy write underscore section. Then you have to create your diff class container and this. Then again we will be creating p tag with class s copyright. And here I will be now just doing one thing, I will be writing the copyright text. Then you have to write 2023, all rights reserved. And I will be now writing here design by, I will be now writing here design by index. And I will be writing HTTP s slash next dot design. And I will be writing p next templates like this. Now when you've written this, you have to directly save these things here. And after saving these things, we have to now simply do one thing, we have to now just do the styling of it. Because now we have done all the work which we want to do about this. Now we have to do some styling so we can move on to work with this. But here if I just show you by saving this file and reload, and you can see we are getting all the things here like uh, let's start talk with us, we are getting a button, enter your email section, subscribe to newsletter section, we are getting all that stuff. Call icon, this email icon, but you can see it is not a style. So we have style this section as well. So for styling this we have to move on to our main file which is of the uh, word means it is file of Next.js and in this file we will be using uh, the version of web3 here to just style this and we will be using some of the AI tools with GPT-4 to create the styling and to get the styling working. So now for doing that you have to just start from this tag and create here box sizing as border box and I will be writing it as important. So I will be now writing here. Then after writing this, you have to close it and write here transition. And in transition, I will be writing ease on 0.5s. Then simply you have to move down and create the main file name and create the scroll behavior. So I will be now writing here scroll behavior. Then you have to give here the body tag with color S. And I will be now writing here 666, which is the color which we define and create here font size as well, which is 14 pixels. Then write here line height, which should be 1.80857. Then you have to write here font weight, which should be as normal. Then I will be now writing here overflow x, and I will be now writing here freedom. And I will be now just moving down and creating font family, and I will be writing here poppins, and write comma sensor. Then you have to write here hated and create color 1f. So here I will be now writing hashtag like this, and write here 1f, 1f, 1f. Now you have to move down and create text decoration. And I will be now just writing here none and write important. Then I will be writing here outline should be none and I will be now writing here important. Then here when you've written this thing, you have to just move down and create web kit transition and I will be now writing here none, write here important. Then write here outline which should be none and I will be writing here important again. So here I will be now writing this. Then you have to just create a tag so here I will be now removing this and then when you've written this thing just uh, here we have written webkit transition as well so I will be now writing here uh, like this and then when you just done with this thing just here I will be now doing one thing like we have written the color text decoration outline then webkit transition I will be now writing here all 0.3s so here I will be now writing 0.3s is and out like this then you have to create dash moss and I will be now writing here transition then here I will be writing all points yes and then I will be writing is and out like this. Then you have to move down and create dash ms transition. So I will be now writing here transition like this. And then after writing this you have to now just do one thing you have to create all point yes is and out. Then you have to now create a tag which should be o dash transition. Then I will be now writing here all point yes is in out. Then after doing this, you have to close this and then you have to move down and create here transition only. And in transition, I will be writing all point yes is in out. So there I will be now writing this. Then you have to now write here h1, h2, then h3. And after writing this, I will be writing h4 as well, h5, h6. These are the heading files here. Then I will be creating letter spacing in this, which should be s0. And I will be defining font weight as normal. Now you have to create here position related. So I will be writing this as well. 
Now after writing these things, you have to now simply do one thing. You have to create a tag which should be as writing here zero zero ten pixel, and I will be writing here zero. Then create font weight normal, and after writing this, you have to now write here line height normal. Then I will be now writing color as one like this. Then you have to write here margin zero. Then I will be moving down and write here edge one. Create font size and write here twenty four pixel. Write here H2 font size and I will be writing here 22 pixel. Then I will be writing here H3 and then you have to write here font size which should be 18 pixel. Then when you've written this, you have to now simply do one thing. You have to create H4 and write here font size 16 pixel. Then I will be now moving down and creating H5 here and I will be now writing here font size as 14 pixel. Then I will be moving down and creating H6 font size 13 pixel. Then you have to now just write this tag and create like this and write here this tag and write after write here this tag again and write here before and then after writing this you have to write here back kit tag box sizing and then I will be now writing the border box and write here dash box box sizing and I will be now writing here border box like this then write here box sizing border box and I will be now writing here h1 k tag then I will be now doing one thing, I will be writing H2A and write here H3A, write here H4A, write H5A and then I will be writing H6A. Then you have to write here color and I will be writing 212121. Then I will be moving down, write here text decoration, none important. So I will be now writing here, write here opacity 1. Then I will be moving down and write here button, focus and I will be writing outline, none then you have to write here ul li and i will be now writing here ol create margin 0 and i will be now just writing here padding as 0 then create list style should be none then i will be moving down and then here i will be just uh, creating a tag which should be as three tag and write here margin 20 pixel then here i will be creating as font size and then you have to now just write here in the place of it font weight as 300 Write here font size 15 pixel and I will be writing line height as 24 pixel. Save it. Then till here I will be reloading. And after reloading, you can see we are getting some text changes here, which is looking good. And after getting these changes, we have to simply move down and create a tag with color. And I will be now just writing here color as it is. Create text decoration none and write here outline none with important. Then you have to now create a tag and write here dot ctn. Write here text decoration none and I will be defining as important here. Then write here outline should be none and I will be now writing here important. Then I will be now writing web kit dash transition and I will be writing all point E as is and out. Then I will be moving down after this tag and you have to create dash mosh transition and you have to write here all point E as is and out. Then I will be moving down and create dash ms transition. And I will be now writing all point ps. So here I will be now writing is and out. Then when you've written this, you have to now create a tag which should be like o dash transition. And I will be now writing all point ps is and out. Then you have to now write here transition and write here all point ps is and out. Then I will be moving down and create image max width. And I will be writing 100%. And I will be now writing here height auto. Then you have to now write here focus in which I will be writing outline 0. Then you have to write here padding bottom. Then I will be now writing here 0 and I will be writing padding bottom. And I will be writing it as important. 0 and important. Then create button custom. And then I will be now writing here as it is. And then you have to style this button custom which should be as margin top 20 pixel. And I will be now giving here background color as transparent and I will be now just writing here important then you have to create border as 2 pixel solid and I will be writing here triple D and then you have to create padding as well 12 pixel and I will be now just writing here 40 pixel then you have to move down and create font size as 16 pixel now and write here lead create font size then I will be now writing here 18 pixel then create here line height and in line height, I will be now writing 30 pixel. Create color effect 767676. 
and I will be now writing here margin as zero. So I will be now writing margin zero. Then you have to write here padding as zero as it is. Write here form control. So I will be now writing here form control focus, and I will be now just writing here border color white, and I will be now just writing here important. So after writing this, we have to now create box shadow. So I will be now writing here. Box shadow zero zero, and then I will be writing point two rem rgb at two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five and point two five. Then you have to move down and create nav bar form, and I will be writing here input. And after writing this, you have to move down, and then I will be writing border here. Border I will be writing none, and then you have to write here important. Then you have to write here dot base, write font weight, and then I will be now writing here five uh, hundred. Then when you have written this, you have to move down and create lock code, and then you have to write here margin 20 pixel, zero 20 pixel. Write here padding 30 pixel, and write here button as it is, which should be like border. And I will be now writing here zero and create margin zero. Then you have to now write here padding zero as well, and then I will be writing here cursor, and then I will be now writing here cursor should be pointer like this. Now you have to write here full tail and create float. And then I will be now writing here left. After writing this, you have to now just with float left. I will be also defining here width, which should be hundred percent. Right here layout under score padding. And then I will be now writing here padding top as ninety percent. Then I will be now writing here padding bottom, which should be as zero percent. Save till here and then reload. So you can see now we are getting all the things styled here. If I show you down as well, you can see all the things are perfectly styled. And now we are getting all the things working perfectly. Now, after getting that all stuff, you have to simply move down and write here padding under score zero. And I will be now just moving down and writing here padding zero pixel. Now you can see we are just getting the header section started here. So I will be doing one thing like I will be moving down here. And now till this header mean means till the header section ends, I will be moving the link there. So now, if I just move at the top. So here I will be now removing these all stuff and creating my own header section. So I will be now removing that all stuff which we are getting here like this. Now when you are just getting that all stuff here, simply I will be now moving down after this there, and you can see till here the header is coming. So I will be removing this, and now I will be creating a header section here. So for creating the header section, we have to start from the header class. So I will be writing here header under school, and then I will be now. Writing it as under score section, and then you have to create here width hundred percent, and I will be writing here float layer. Then you have to now create here background image as well, which should be like URL, and I will be writing here the background image URL as dot slash images slash banner bg dot png. Then I will be closing this tag simply and write here height as auto. Then you have to now simply move down and create background. Size as hundred percent, and then I will be writing here padding zero pixel, and I will be writing zero pixel, twenty pixel, zero pixel like this. Then you have to create here dot pg light, and I will be now writing here background color like this, which should be transparent, and I will be writing here important as well. Then you have to create here logo, and I will be now writing here width as hundred percent. Then you have to create here float should be left. Then I will be writing here text align. Center and I will be now writing the padding should be 20 pixel, 0 pixel, 50 pixel, and I will be writing here 0 pixel as well. Then you have to write here logo under score mobile, and I will be now writing here width 100 percent, and I will be now moving down and creating here float should be left like this, and then I will be writing text align should be center, and then you have to create here padding bottom should be 20 pixel. Then I will be now writing here mobile, and I will be now writing here mobile menu. Then here I will be writing width should be hundred percent, and I will be writing it as float layer. Then here I will be writing display should be none, and then you have to now write here nav bar light, and I will be writing here nav bar dash nav, and here you have to write nav length. Now you have to create font size like this, and write here eighteen pixel. Create text transform which should be like upper case. Now you have to move down and create color should be white. And I will be now writing here nav bar nav. Then I will be setting this nav here to align items, and I will be now writing here center. Then you have to write here btn not, and I will be now writing here disabled. So here I will be now writing disabled like this. Write here not dot disabled. So I will be now writing here disabled like this. 
then you have to now create cursor should be pointer and I will be now writing here border radius and in border radius I will be writing 20 pixel right here border 2 pixel like this and right here solid white now you have to write here color should be white like this then write here nav bar expand lg so I will be now writing nav bar expand lg nav bar and I will be now just writing here like this create nav dot nav link and I will be now just writing here padding which should be right as this is and then I will be writing 20 pixel after writing you have to now create here padding left should be as 20 pixel and then I will be now moving down and write here nav item and then I will be writing the position below here. then you have to create a tag which should be like menu main so I will be now writing here dot menu main ms flex direction should be column then we have set the flex direction here and then I will be also setting the flex direction simply should be column and I will be now writing here padding left should be 0 and I will be writing here margin bottom as it is 0 and create list to style as none and then when you written this create width as well 100% right here text align should be center and I will be now writing here margin 0 auto then write here menu main right here divide then then I will be now writing here 0 pixel create padding 0 pixel and I will be now writing it as just to style none and then you have to write display inline flex so here I will be now writing here inline flex then write here menu main li and I will be now writing here float left and I will be now writing here padding left 10 pixel and I will be now writing here padding right 10 pixel then I will be now doing one thing I will be moving down create font size 18 pixel and I will be writing text transform then you have to write here uppercase and I will be now just writing here padding top and in padding top I will be now writing here 10 pixel create padding bottom and write here 10 pixel and I will be now writing here color white write here border radius 40 pixel then I will be now writing here menu underscore main li data write here color and I will be now just writing here white write here padding 10 pixel and I will be now writing here 20 pixel border radius and I will be now writing here 10 pixel like this create menu main and I will be writing here li hour and write here color like this and then you have to now do one thing you have to move down and then I will be creating a color tag like this then I will be writing the background color as well which should be 2B so I will be writing here 2B2278 then you have to move down right here mblg 0 right here my lc 0 and then you have to give here dot as well because it is a class then I will be moving down and creating a margin bottom here as well so I will be now creating margin bottom 0 and I will be writing here important create width as 20% and write here float left then when you have written this you have to create header underscore main and write here width 100% like this and then I will be now writing here background image after writing this background image you have to create URL in which I will be writing dot dot slash images slash header dash bg dot png. Now you have to save this file and after saving this you have to now move down. So here you have to close it and then you have to move down after this. And after creating this you have to now write your background file as well which should be as 100% and create padding which should be 10 pixel 0 0 0 or uh, there you have to write pixel as well then there as well and there as well. Now you have to close it. After closing this, if I give a space so you can see we are now getting all that stuff working. Then I will be saving this file and then reload. So you can see if I reload here, so we are getting all the things working here in this application. You can see this how good looking is that. So we are getting all the section like we want here in this amazing pro application which we have created here. If I show you, so you can see how good looking is this application which we have created now. So I hope you understand how we have created this. But one thing is not common like we are getting here same thing but we are not getting down so means that we have done some mistakes in our file and because of that our testimonial section is not really good looking here so we have to check that testimonial section here so for checking this we have to move to the same main file in which we were doing the notes of the clients so you can see this so the first line was this one which we are getting here and in the plus client i was just writing my name and i have written my name so you can see the first line i am writing i i am getting my name here and now we have to check what mistake we have done and because of that mistake we are not getting our testimonials working. 
So now for that, uh, for doing that, we have to now simply do one thing. We have to move down to check the things which we have done perfectly. So you can see, I think all the things are perfect. So we have just written left and then we have written client image to it icon and all that stuff perfectly. So I think that is done. Then if I move on to the second one, so there you can see we are just writing box left, right, not left. So I've now written box right there. And one thing is common as well, like we are not writing these classes here. Okay. So now I will be doing one thing. I will be writing here and write box left again. Now here we are just writing that all stuff here and I hope you understand how we were getting that first one and then I will be moving on to the second and in the second you can see we are just getting here box left tarot gel item and I have written client main and then I have also written box left lorem text we have to write here so I will be now writing that lorem text save it then here as well we have to write lorem text like this then save here as well now you can see we are just getting all the things here then if I move down to so here, we have also written Lauren left, not that, we have to write text. Now if I show you, so you can see we are getting here the text perfectly styled. Then if I scroll down, so we are getting box right, uh, data means client data left, client image. Then we are also getting the quick icon tag here. Then we are getting uh, data and then we are getting customer text, which is good looking here. Then after the folder, which we have given a space and then we have written the carousel item with client name box left and I have just written Lorem text and then I have just defined the box right here with client data left to it. and then I have just written here client image and quick icon then data left client name and customer text so you can see we have now defined that after defining that we have just now written this tag here as it is so you can see this and we are getting that stuff here and now after getting we have to now just write here box left so i think that we have now written the box left here okay so we have just written this thing save it and then below so if i just show you you can see now we are getting this thing style and now here we are also getting this thing style if i show you so you can see now i think that now we are getting the text written here perfectly and we are getting all the things working but i want to do one thing here as it is like i will be now moving on to my main file here which is on my vs code so you can see here is what was my main file and I will be now doing one thing here, like I will be just copying this lorem ipsum text which we are getting here. So I will be now just doing one thing, I will be moving at the first one and till it carousel item we want. So I will be now just copying this till carousel item here and I will be now simply doing one thing, I will be pasting it down as well till the folders. So I will be now moving here and then I will be just pasting it here. Now the difference will be that I will be changing, I will be removing this carousel item and I will be now just writing client image which is same and I will be changing the customer name to that. save it here then same thing I will be doing in the last one as well I will be now pasting here again so this was our code so if I just show you here and then these are the folders which we are getting pasted after pasting here you have to now simply do one thing again like you have to change the customer name and that and I will be writing here and here I will be removing this active from then simply you have to save and reload and if I show you, so you can see now, we are now uh, getting that and now we are not getting any of the spacing from the top and you can see now it is totally styled our testimonial section. Means that all the things are totally styled here in this project and you can see it is working and I think that we have created this successfully adventure app which we want. So I hope you understand how we have just done that testimonial section working. And then if I show you at the front page, so you can see this is our amazing home page which we have created as well. So I hope you understand how we have created this. So just now, when you've done with these all things, just you have to do another thing like, so just now here if I show you, so you can see we have just done till here, here. Now I will be just moving on to my main styling file to just do some of other styling here in this project because now we have to create a banner section as well. So we can move on to work with this banner section. So for creating this, first of all, I'll be removing this previous banner code because I will be not needing these all banner codes here. So for removing these all things, you have to now simply do one thing like, uh, here you have to now just move and then I will be just moving in this banner section here with the services section as well and then you have to just remove this till here. After doing this thing you have to now give some space here so we can just get the things working and then I will be now giving spacing here as well. Now after getting these space here you have to now simply do one thing like I will be now just creating here a banner section there. So I will be now writing here banner underscore section like this and then I will be now writing here width as 100% and I will be now writing here float as left 
Now when you written this, you have to create here the heading bottom. Then I will be now writing here 305 pixel. Then you have to create here banner data. Then I will be now writing here width as 100 pixel. Then I will be now writing here float length. Then create here font size and I will be now writing here 80 pixel and create color should be white like this. Then I will be now writing here font weight should be bold and I will be now writing here text align should be center. Now you have to write here text transform. So I will be now writing here text transform as uppercase. Then I will be writing font family and in font family I will be now writing here right yes. So here I will be writing right yes like this and now when you just written this you have to now simply remove this key from here and write like this right yes and write here regular like this. Now you have to close it and create banner and I will be writing under store text right here with 63% and right here margin 0 order. Now you have to move down and create font size as 16 pixel and I will be now writing here as color and I will be now writing here color should be white. Now when you have written this you have to create here text align should be in center. Now I will be doing one thing like I will be moving here at the back and creating weight under score BT. And I will be now writing here width 200 pixel. Then you have to create margin 0 auto. Then I will be writing text align should be center. Now after writing you have to create here read under score GT A tag and write here width 100 percent. Then I will be now moving down and writing here float left. Then you have to create font size as it is 16 pixel and write here color 141414. And then you can see we are just getting here working. Then I will be now removing this and creating background color as white. Now when you written this, you have to create here text align. And in text align, I will be now giving it in center. Then you have to create here padding 10 pixel. And I will be now writing here 0 pixel like this. Then I will be now creating here border radius and write here 30 pixel. Create here margin top. And then I will be now writing 50 pixel like this and create here font weight as well. And in font weight, I will be writing 400. Then here you have to move down and create B under score BT. And I will be writing A hour. And then you have to move down after this tag and create a tag which should be as background color. And I will be writing here 2B 2, uh, 2278 like this. Then I will be now writing here color should be white like this. Now here you have to create a tag which should be like services under score section. And I will be now writing here width as 100% and I will be now just writing here float there. Then create here a padding bottom like this and then I will be now writing here 90 pixel like this thing. Then create here services state all and I will be now writing here width like 100%. Then I will be now writing here float left and I will be writing font size as 40 pixel. Then you have to create color and in color I will be writing 1F1 F1F. Then you have to create font weight should be bold. Then I will be moving down and then here I will be just writing a text here which should be like services under score text. Then here I will be writing width as 100% and I will be now writing the float left. Then I will be writing font size should be as 16 pixel. Right here color 1F1F1F. One 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 then here I will be now just doing one thing I will be moving down and creating a margin 0 pixel. And I will be now writing here services under score section 2. And I will be now moving down and creating here width as 100%. And I will be now writing here float left. Then I will be writing margin top. And I will be writing 90 pixel. Here you have to write services under score image. Write here width 100%. And I will be now writing here float, which should be left. Then create here text align, should be center. And I will be now moving down. And here I will be creating a text, which should be like ATM base. And I will be now writing here as 170 pixel. And then after writing this, you have to create here a tag which should be like margin. And I will be now writing here 0 auto. And I will be writing text align should be center. Then I will be writing btn main. And I will be now writing here a tag create with 100%. Then I will be now writing here float left. Then you have to create here font size 16 pixel. And I will be now writing here color white like this. Then I will be now writing the background color like 2B2278. Then I will be now writing the text align again. So I will be moving here. Create text align should be center. Then you have to write here padding 10 pixel and I will be writing 0 pixel. 
then you have to write your border radius and then here i will be setting it to like uh, 30 pixel like this and then you have to set your on weight as well both now i'm just styling that so we can just get the styles of working here then margin top 40 pixel and write here text transform as well which should be like upper case now you have to create here btn main tag again a cover and in cover i will be just giving it the color as white then you have to set it to background color as well and i will be writing 00 then here i will be now doing one thing i will be moving at the back and i will be writing here btn main dot extend a text create color and then i will be now writing here to white then you have to set a uh, background color here and in background color i will be now just writing here 00 d10 save it and after saving this you have to now do one thing you have to just now uh, give backspace here so we can take it to the top now save it and then reload so if i just show you here so you can see we are getting all the things working and this was our adventure app which we have created here so this was our third app which we have created in this amazing core app project here so now this was the adventure app which we have created using Next.js web 3 and gpt4 so now we'll be moving on to the fourth app as well and creating that fourth app in the end but first of all i want to show you how we have created and what things we have included in this app so you can see we have created first of all this logo of a world which i was just showing you at the start then here we are also getting the home section and about section then we are getting services section means all the network menus five network menus we have created here which is looking awesome and with the hover effect of dark bluish color at the back then down we are getting the text written adventure with the paragraph a small paragraph i have written but it is really amazing and we are also getting a button which says get a code and it is totally uh, auto slider which we are getting here at the back now if i scroll down you can see we are also getting an amazing zigzag effect which we have done through this styling of web3 then if i move down so these are the services section in which you you can write a, a small paragraph about services like what services you provide to your users who come on this site and want to book anything about uh, this adventure so you can see in adventure you can get rafting hiking and camping and you can also add more other stuff if you want to add in this application here then if i scroll down so we are also getting about a section in which we are getting a paragraph written here in about us like uh, how we are just covering up these things and how we just uh, manage these all services here so you can write us something about here and if, a, if user want to read more about your site or gain more information about you so we can press read more button to read more about you and at the right we are also getting an image so you can put any image about your adventure so you can put that then if i scroll down so we are getting c video section if you are having any video on youtube or any other video you have created so you can just uh, give this section of video and you can just write here see our video in a paragraph like in this video what you can just see so you can give a paragraph about that and when user press this play button so you can see the video which you want to see like this now if i scroll down so we are also getting a testimonial section in which you can uh, write the reviews of your testimonial who have used your adventure app and they are working or they are enjoying from that so you can just give the three or four three to five you can say testimonial reviews you can add here so i've added three testimonial reviews you can add different testimonial reviews which you are getting from your customers so you can add here in the testimonial section then if i scroll down so we are getting why choose us like in this you can just write here why to choose us because we provide these all services to our users so you can write a simple paragraph about it in the why choose us section if a user want to get more information about it so you can press this read more button to read more information about you then if anyone want to talk with you so you, you can just put a get a code button so user can enter a code and they can talk with you for the admission or for the you can say for doing any adventure from your site so they can contact with you then anybody can write here at your uh, anybody can write the email to subscribe your newsletter here so users can come here and write their email if they like your site so they can subscribe to their newsletter or to your site newsletter as well then if i scroll down so we are getting a call section in which you will be getting the call number of the uh, site owner so you can just contact with them then we are also getting email address here you can put any of your rent and email address which you are having of this application then we are getting social media icons you can put any of the social media icons here to for your user so if a user is on your site and they want to contact with you so they can contact with data code as well and they can contact with this uh, icons as well then if i scroll down so we are getting in the end 2023 all right result design three next standard so these are all the copyright section which we are getting down so this was our amazing project which we have created and if i show you here by 
doing responsive, so it is totally responsive to them, which we have created. You can see our name card menus are looking responsive. Then if you see in any mobile, you can just see it is totally responsive here in any mobile if you see. So you can see services section is also responsive, about the section is also responsive, our testimonial is also working in responsive. So it is a good thing. Then we are getting a buy choose a section in which uh, the text and the read more button is also responsive. Then let's start talk with us is also responsive. Then the, all the things which we are getting down in the copyright section is also responsive. You can just see in any device. You can see there are many devices available. You can see it in any device. One of them, iPhone 12 Pro, iPixel 5, Ascension, Cell, MC, S8, S20 Ultra. Like this, you can see it any of one of them. So this was the thing which I want to show you. I hope you understand how we have just created this amazing project here. Uh, of this amazing adventure application. So if you have understand this project here of adventure application which we have created from the start, so remember to hit a like and if you are new on the channel, want to see more videos like that. So remember to subscribe on the channel after subscribing the notification bell as well so more people can learn and they can understand how we can create these amazing projects using different languages here. So this was the first project which we have created or uh, you can say this was the third application which we have created here in this project and I was just telling you in the start like we will be creating four applications from the start using Next.js with different technologies. So we have used in this project Web3 and GPT-4. So in the previous project, we have used uh, different technology like we have used Solidity, but now we have just used uh, Web3 and GPT-4 plus Next.js. Obviously, we are using it in every application, so like that. So I hope you understand how we have created this amazing adventure application. So if you have enjoyed this video and if you understand this amazing application which we have created, so remember to hit a like and if you are new on the channel, hit the subscribe button after subscribing a notification bell as well so more people can learn and they can understand how we can create these amazing projects using different languages here. So just I'll be meeting you next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials. So Close till I get up, time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust, yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on So just like I'm telling you that we will be just creating our fourth app. So this will be our fourth application here, which we will be creating through Next.js. We will be using here Tailwind CSS and we will be also using GPT-4. So now in this application, which is our last application, uh, which is our last application in this project, we are using different technologies in this. But we have used uh, in every app we have used Next.js. So in this application also we will be using Next.js, but with different technologies. Today in this app I will be using Next.js plus Tailwind and I will be using GPT-4. So now we'll be starting with this and seeing that how we are creating this amazing plot listing application. So for creating this amazing plot listing application, we have to open our folder. You can see here is our folder plot listing app in Next.js, Tailwind and GPT-4. So I will be opening this file and I will be moving on to my main file. Press Ctrl B to close side panel and I will be removing this stuff here and I will be writing a plot listing app like this. Save it. Then I will be removing all the code which we are getting here in this file because I will be not needing this stuff. So I will be moving down, then I will be moving here in this last and after moving in last I will be removing these all stuff. After removing you have to save this and after saving just I will be zooming in here so you can just see all the code which I will be writing. Then I will be moving down then save this and open it in the default browser which is Google Chrome. So I will be moving here and you can see this is our plot listing app and I will be opening it in my default Google Chrome browser. So you can see it is totally empty, we are getting nothing because we have not written anything here in this file. So I will be making my 
VS Code bigger because I want my coding side should be bigger, uh, and this left side and this right side which is the interface side should be small. So I will be now creating here div ID first of all in this application with the JS preloader. So our ID will be named as JS preloader, and I will be giving it the class as well which should be JS preloader like this. So I will be now writing here. JSP loader here as well. Then you have to create this class, and in this class, I will be writing pre loader inner. Then I will be moving down and creating here spend tag with class dot. Now you have to just move down after this tag and create this class dots like this. And I will be now writing here spend tag like this thing. Then you have to move down and create spend tag here as well, and create spend here also. Then I will be moving down and creating header. And in header, I will be now creating class. So I will be moving here in this tag, and I will be creating header class as header area. And then I will be now writing here header sticky wow, and I will be writing here slide in, and I will be now writing here down. Then you have to now move here in the center, and I will be writing data wow duration, and I will be writing here equal to 0.75s mean seconds. Then I will be writing data wow delay equal to 0s. Then I will be creating here data. Means div as class container. Then you have to also create div class row as well. Then after creating these stuff here, I will be now writing here div class as call twelve, and I will be also writing here nav, and I will be now writing in this nav as class, and in this nav class I will be writing here main nav. Then you have to move down and create here a tag, and I will be writing my main file name with class as logo. So I will be now writing here class as logo like this. And after writing this, you have to now do one thing here. Like I will be moving down and create new and class, and I will be now writing here name. Then you have to create li a tag, and I will be writing here main file name. Then you have to create here class, and in class I will be writing here active. Then you have to write here home like this. After writing this, you have to now write here li a tag, and I will be writing here category. Then here I will be now writing category like this. Then you have to move down and create li a tag. Here I will be writing this thing. Then I will be now writing here listing as well. Then you have to move down and create li. And here I will be now just doing one thing like I will be writing here a tag again. Then write here contact. So I will be now writing this and write here contact as well. And write here contact us. Now when you written this, you have to move here and create this class in li tag, which should be as main white button. So I will be now writing here main white button a tag. And then I will be writing here i tag as well. In which I will be setting it to FA FA plus. And here, after writing this, you have to save this. Then I will be now just writing here add your listing like this. Now you have to save this file, and I will be now removing this HTML and creating class here in the place of it, which should be menu trigger. So here I will be now writing menu trigger like this, and then I will be now writing here span. So creating span here, which should be as menu. Then you have to save, and then give a space here, and after giving a space, just Uh, here I will be moving down after this header tag. Create this class as main banner. So I will be now writing here. Then when you written this thing, just you have to give here div class as container. And I will be now just moving down and creating div class row. And here you have to write div class call lg12. Then I will be now writing here div class top and dash text. And I will be writing here header text. Then you have to move down and write here f6. Write over 36. Thousand five hundred plus active, and I will be writing here listings. Then you have to write here h two, and I will be now writing here find nearby places and a and b. Then here I will be just writing tips like this. Save it. Then you have to now create div class as call h two two l. Then I will be now writing here form and removing this section from here in the place of it. I will be writing id search form and write here name g s. Then I will be writing here method, and then I will be now writing here submit like this. Write here rule status. Then you have to now change the status to search. So here I will be now writing this. After writing, you have to now create action. In action, I will be now writing this as well. Then move down and create div class as row, and I will be now writing here div class call lg, and I will be writing three align cell, and write here center. Then move down and write here field set. So I will be now writing this. Then you have to write here select, and in name I will be writing here area. Create class here which should be form select. Then you have to now remove this ID here and create area label in the place of it. And in area label I will be writing here area like this. Write here ID choose category. So I will be now writing here choose category. Then create on change, and I will be now writing here this dot form dot on click. So here I will be now writing 
click like this and then open close this after writing this you have to now write here option so here i will be now uh, writing here option tag like this and create uh, remove this value here and write here selected then in center i will be writing all areas then you have to move down and create option and in option i will be writing new village like this and then here i will be moving and creating new village here as well then you have to move down and write here option in value i will be writing old town so here i will be writing this then create here old town as well then you have to create another option tag here in value i will be writing modern city so i will be now writing like this modern city then here i will be now writing modern city as well save then after writing this you have to move after the close div which we have created and then in the place of it i will be writing call as b3 and write here align self center then you have to now write here field set and in this field set there i will be now writing here another tag which should be like input type address so here i will be now writing then write here name and in name i will be now writing again address after writing this you have to create here class as search text so here i will be now writing like this search text now you have to create placeholder in placeholder i will be writing enter a location so here i will be now writing this enter a location write here auto complete like this equal to and in this i will be writing all and create required and you have to now just move down and create the class as for lg3 write here align self and i will be now writing here align self center and write here field set and i will be now moving down and creating that select then i will be writing main name price and remove this id first of all and in the place of it i will be writing form select then write here area label equal to and here i will be writing default then i will be now just writing here select example then you have to write here id choose category so here i will be now writing this write on change this dot form dot click then you have to make this bracket here and after making this you have to create option tag so i will be now writing here option in value i will be writing dollar 100 dash and i will be writing it as dollar 250 then i will be now writing here dollar 100 dash dollar 250 again then when you return this create option in value again i will be writing 250 dash 500 so different price i will be writing in every option tag then here again i will be writing 250 and 500 Then again, you have to create option tag down, and in this, I will be now writing here dollar five hundred dash dollar one thousand. Then I will be writing dollar five hundred dash dollar one thousand. Then you have to move down again and create option value, and I will be writing here one thousand plus. So here I will be now writing here one thousand plus like this. Write here one thousand. So I will be writing here one thousand like this, and I will be writing for both. Save it. Then you have to move down after the close div here and create another div as all lg3. Save till here and then reload. So if I show you, you can see we are getting plot listing in all area. Then we are getting entire location section and we are also getting here all the things like all the prices which we have written here. Now we are also getting an app bar working at that top. So we are getting all the main things that we want. Now here I will be just writing align cell. So here I will be now just writing here all lg3 with align cell here. And then here I will be writing center. Then you have to write here field set, and after writing this field set, I will be now creating select, and in this name I will be writing again price. Remove this ID here, and then in the place of it I will be writing class as form select. Then I will be writing here area label equal to I will be writing here default, and I will be now writing here default select example. Then you have to write here ID choose category. Then I will be now writing here on change equal to this dot form dot click, and I will be making this two bracket. Then you have to again create here option tag. So I will be now doing one thing. I will be writing here option in value. I will be now just removing this first of all. Here I will be writing selected. Then in center I will be writing price range. So here when you return this, you have to move down. Create option in value. I will be writing like this hundred dollar dash. And I will be writing here two fifty. Now when you return this, you have to create hundred dollar dash, and I will be writing here two fifty again. Then you have to now move down and create option in value. I will be writing two fifty dash five hundred. So I will be now writing here. Then I will be now writing this tag like this. Then you have to now make this and write here two fifty dash five hundred. 
and write here option value and then I will be now writing here again a tag which should be as it is like 500 dash 1000 and write here 500 dash 1000 like this. Now when you written this you have to move down and create option and in value I will be writing here 1000 plus and I will be now writing here 1 dash 1000 and I will be writing or more. Then you have to now save it and here I will be moving down and create diff class as all LG3. Then I will be moving down and writing here field set and in field set I will be now just writing here button and in button tag I will be creating here a class as I will be writing main button. So here you have to write here this main button. Then create i tag in which I will be writing FA FA search. And then after writing this tag you have to now uh, move here after this tag and I will be writing here search now. Save and then you have to reload. So you can see now we are getting a search now button as well which is looking good. Then I will be moving down after the diff tag after form which we have created. Close it. Then I will be writing here call LG. Tag and write here offset in which I will be writing LG1. Then create here UL with class as categories. So here I will be now writing class as categories. Then I will be now writing li tag and write here category file. And then you have to create spend tag with class as icon. So I will be now writing this. Then create images ss slash images. Then I will be now writing here search icon 1. And then here I will be moving after the spend tag, close spend tag. And here I will be writing apartments. So here I will be writing this. Then here you have to move down, create a tag and write a listing file. Then again spend tag with class icon and write here images and write ss slash images. And then I will be now just writing that slash again and create search icon 2. And then here I will be moving after the spend tag. And after spend tag I will be writing that food. Then I will be writing amp and then write that food like like this. Then you have to move down right here li a tag and I will be now writing here a tag which should be like uh, this and I will be now writing here dash tag then you have to create a spend tag here write icon and write here image ss then I will be now writing here images search icon 3 and then when you written this you have to create a tag means after you have to move after the spend tag and after moving Okay, so now when you just done with this thing, just you have to move after a spend tag here, and after moving after a spend tag, you have to write here cards like this. Now after writing cards, you have to save this thing here. Then you have to move down after the li tag and create another li with the spend tag and write here class icon. Then I will be now writing here images. Then I will be writing ss slash images slash search icon two. Then when you written this, you have to move after this spend tag, and I will be writing here shopping. Then you have to move here and create li a tag and I will be writing here spend create class icon and write here images or you can say ss slash images and I will be now writing here as a tag which should be like search icon file. Then when you written this you have to move after the spend tag which we have created close spend tag and write here travel. Then you have to save this. After saving this file, you have to move after UL tag and four div which we have created. You can see these are the four divs here. And I will be now writing here a class as popular categories. So here I will be now writing this. And then I will be now writing here container and write in class row. And here I will be now writing this class called LG12. And then I will be now writing here div class like this. And I will be now writing here section value. Then write H2 and I will be writing here popular categories. Then you have to move down and write here H6, then write here check, then out. Then you have to move down again and create a tag which should be like class, in which I will be writing call LG12 and write here diff class next. Then you have to now write here diff class grid and I will be now writing diff class row again like this. And you have to now create here diff class as it is and write here call LG3. Then I will be now writing here diff class again and write here menu. And write here diff class first. So here I will be now writing first on active. Now you have to just move down after this and create here diff class. And I will be now writing here sum and create span class icon. Then here I will be writing image assist and I will be writing here images slash and I will be now writing here search icon. Then I will be now just moving after the span tag and write here apartments. 
So there we cannot edit this. And then you have to uh, do one thing. You have to move after two days when they hear a dip time with class comes. And then uh, here I will be moving down right here is pen class. And I will be now writing the icon. Create image as is. And right here image search icon two. Now when you've written this, you have to move after the spend time which we have created. And write here food and AMP. Then I will be writing the life like this. Then you have to create div. And again you have to create div class thumb. And I will be now writing here spend class icon. Write here image. So here I will be now writing image source s slash images. Then I will be now writing here search icon three. Then I will be moving after this spend time. And write here cards. So here I will be writing. Then you have to move and create a div class thumb. And write here spend tag class icon. And then image. Then in image tag I will be now writing here s is images as search icon code. Then after this spend tag we will be writing a different tag as shopping. So here I will be now writing this. Then you have to create a div tag again div tag with class s thumb. And right here is spend tag class icon. Then you have to now create image tag as is. And I will be now writing here image search icon 5 like this. And I will be moving after the spend tag right here fairly. Then save it and here you have to reload. So after reloading, you can see we are getting all these icons here which is working. And now we are just getting all the things working here. So I will be moving down after the four digits. Create this class call LG. And I will be writing here line. And write a line self center. Then I will be moving down and creating the UL class and here you have to write net. Then you have to move down and create li class active. And then you have to move down again and write here div with div class up. And then you have to write here div class row. Then after writing this, you have to now write here div class s call ng5. Then write here align self and then write here in sign. Then you have to write here div class left and I will be writing here text. Now when you just uh, return this thing, you have to now simply do one thing here like I will be now moving down after this tag and write here edge code and I will be writing one of the most and I will be writing here trending stuff and then you have to write here right now. Then when you return this, you have to move down and create p tag and write here Lauren tag because this is an example text and because of that I am writing this. Create here div class as main white button. And here I will be writing a tag in which I will be writing i tag as fafai. Then you have to write here discover mode. So I will be now writing here discover mode like this. Then you have to now create div class as call lg7 and write here align cell. And then you have to write here center. Create this class and I will be writing it as right image. Now you have to move down and write here images as a slash. Write here images tabs image dot image one dot jpeg. Then after writing this, you have to move after a close li tag which we have created here. Again, you have to write li and then I will be writing this class up. And then you have to write here this class called lg5. Write here align self center. So here I will be now writing this create this class. And I will be now writing left text. Then you have to now just write here edge code, in which I will be now writing food, uh, food and lifestyle. Then I will be now writing the category. So here I will be now writing category is here. Now when you've written this, you have to simply do one thing here. Like I will be moving in this tag, and I will be just writing like this. A should also be capital. Means first letter I will be making in every word capital here. Then you have to simply do one thing, you have to write p tag in small and write here lawyer. After writing this, you have to create this class and I will be writing main white button. So I will be now writing this and write here a tag and you have to create i tag like this and write here class fafai and then you have to now do one thing here like I will be writing a store mode and then you have to save it. After saving this, you have to now simply do one thing, you have to create this class as call lg7 and I will be writing here align self center. Then I will be now just writing here div class and I will be writing here write image. Then I will be moving down and write here image as is slash. Write here image is tabs image. So here I will be now writing tabs image 
2.2.jpg and I will be now writing here li tag means close li tag which we are getting down and write here div class thumb and then I will be now writing here div class and I will be writing it as root then I will be now writing here div call as v and I will be now writing here file align self center then I will be now writing here left text so here I will be now writing right here as code and then I will be writing best car rentals so there I will be now writing best car rentals for your trips so there I will be now writing like this now when you've written this you have to write field tag and write lorem like this then you have to move down and create this class and I will be writing it as main white buttons and then when you written this you have to write here listing then I will be now write here i tag write here, 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 here i then you have to now move after this i tag and write here more listing then I will be moving down and creating here the class call as v7 and write here align self so here I will be now writing align self center then I will be now writing here the class right image and then when you written this you have to move down after this tag and write here image assistant I will be writing here images like this and I will be writing here tabs image 3 then when you written this you have to move after the close li tag write here li so here I will be now writing here li dip tag create class as thumb and I will be now writing here dip class 2 and then you have to write here dip class call as v5 write here align self center then you have to move down and write here dip class and I will be writing left text then you have to move down and write here p h4 tag in which I will be writing shopping and then write here list like this and I will be creating here shopping list images and I will be now writing com and slash then when you've written this you have to write here field tag and write login tag like this now you have to create div class and I will be writing main white button so I will be now writing this write here a tag and I will be now writing i tag class fafai then move after this i tag and write here discover more then save and I will be now writing here div class and I will be writing call as 7 write here align self center then you have to write here div class, write image. Then I will be moving down and write here image assist slash images slash and I will be now writing here tab image four. Then you have to just move after the li close tag which we have created. Again I will be writing li tag div tag class thumb image. Or you can say write like thumb as it is. Then you have to move down and after moving down you have to create div class row and write here div class and I will be writing call lg write here type align self center then I will be now writing here div class left text then when you written this you have to now write here left text like this write here h code and I will be now writing here information then here you have to write information and safety then I will be now writing here text or and I will be just writing here travel then I will be now this moving down and create here e tag and then you, have, you can just write here again a lorem text which I have written then create a div class as main white button then I will be now writing here no follow so I will be now creating here well tag right here no follow like this then here you have to now write as well write https slash template no dot com so here I will be now writing slash contact then I will be now write here i tag create class f a f a i then you have to now do one thing you have to write here read mode and I will be now saving it create div class and I will be writing it as call lg 7 then I will be now writing here align self so here I will be writing align self center then here you have to write div class and then you can just write here write image then I will be writing image write assist and I will be writing here images tabs image file then here I will be now just doing one thing I will be now moving after the divs so you can see we have to now move after the ul tag so you can see this is a ul tag here and after ul tag so we have to move down after the 8 div. so you can see this is the ul and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so these are the 8 divs and I will be moving down after this then you have to create another div tag which should be recent listings like this and then I will be now doing here one thing I will be writing recent listing only like this then you have to write here div class container 
and I will be now writing here diff class row. Then you have to write here diff class and you have to write here call as g12. Now you have to create diff class and I will be writing the section heading. Save till here and then hello. And if I show you, so you can see we are getting here these item which is working. And then if I move on to the popular categories section, so we are getting all these popular categories here. And you can see if I press this second one, so we are getting the second, third, fourth, fifth. So these are categories which we are getting and these all are working here if I show you. So like this you can do and you can work with this. So I hope you understand how we are just getting these categories working. Now when you are getting this stuff, you have to simply move on to the tag here like this and I will be writing here recent, this thing like this. Then you have to move down and create F6 thing, which I will be writing here, check them out. And then you have to now do one thing, you have to write here diff class. And in diff class, I will be writing call LG and write 12. Then I will be writing here diff class out erogen like this. And I will be now writing here out this thing. And then after writing this, you have to simply move down and write here diff class item. And I will be now writing here diff class row like this. Create diff class call LG 12. And then after writing this, you have to now write here diff class listing. And I will be now writing here listing item. Then you have to write here diff class and I will be writing it as left image. Then you have to write here a tag and write images slash and I will be writing here s slash images. Then I will be writing here listing one. Then you have to just move down and then I will be creating here diff class and write here write content and I will be now writing here align self center. So here I will be now writing this. Then you have to create a tag and I will be now writing here h code 1 and I will be writing here first apartment and then you have to write here room. Then I will be moving after this tag after a tag. Write here f6 and then I will be writing here by save agent. Then I will be now just moving after this f6 dual class as a and I will be moving and write here i tag. Write here f a f a star and I will be now writing here o. Then you have to move down and write here li i tag and then I will be now writing here and then I will be writing F8 star O. Then you have to move down and create L I I tag. Write here class F A F A star and I will be writing here O. Now you have to move down right here L I I tag. And then I will be now just giving it the class as F A star O like this. Then again I will be doing the same thing I tag. Write here F A F A star O. Then when you've written this, you have to create L I tag. So here I will be now writing li tag and I will be writing here 18 reviews. So here I will be making the save and write here spend tag with class and I will be now writing here price. Then write here diff class as it is like icon and write here images slash and I will be now writing here access images slash and I will be writing here listing icon one. So here I will be now just writing here listing icon one like this and then when you written this you have to create means after close diff tag we have to move forward here and I will be writing 450-950 and I will be now just writing here slash 1 with taxes so here I will be writing this then I will be moving down and creating a span class and I will be writing here details then I will be moving forward and write here details and write here dm tag and 2760 square bit and I will be now just moving down after this and write here ul class info and I will be now writing here li image tag and I will be now writing here s slash images. Then I will be now writing here listing icon 2. Then when you've written this, you have to now move forward. Write here 4 bedrooms. So here I will be now writing here 4 bedrooms like this. So this is the thing which I am writing here. And then you have to create image tag, s and I will be now writing here images. And I will be now writing listing icon 3. Then you have to just do one thing here like I will be moving. And then I will be writing the four bathrooms like this. And then I will be just doing one thing. I will be moving down and write here diff class. And I will be writing here main white button. Then I will be moving here and I will be writing a tag. Write contact file here. Then you have to create i tag right here. Class and I will be writing here f a f a i. Then you have to now just write here contact. Then I will be now writing here contact now. Then you have to just simply do one thing. You have to move down and write here. Diff class call LG and write here 12. Then create diff class listing item. Then I will be now writing here diff class left image. Then you have to now write here a tag. And then I will be now writing here image. 
images slash so here i will be now writing the ss slash images then i will be now writing the listing 0 to then i will be now just moving down and creating div class so here i will be moving after this one div and create div class write the right content and i will be writing here align self center then you have to create a tag and i will be writing here h code to and write here another house of gaming like this so here i will be now writing here gaming and then you have to now just do one thing you have to write here h6 and i will be now writing here by top save major then i will be saving it here and write here ul class and i will be now writing here rain now you have to move down and there i will be just writing here li itag class fa fa star and i will be writing here o then you have to create li itag class fa fa star and i will be writing here o then you have to now create li itag class fa fa star o then i will be now writing here li itag class fa fa star and i will be writing here o then again i will be moving down right here yeah. Li Then here you have to just move down after this tag and write here Li tag and write 24. So here I will be now writing 24 with this. Then you have to now just write here this spend tag create class as price and write here div class and I will be now writing here icon. Write image image ss. So here I will be now writing here images slash listing icon one. So I will be now writing here listing icon one. Save it. Then after this close dip which we have closed here, I will be moving forward and I will be writing 1, 400 dash and I will be writing here 3, 500 like this. Now here I will be writing month with taxes. So here I will be now just doing one thing, I will be moving forward and create a spend tag and write your details. Then I will be now writing here details again and write here em3650 fit which or you can say square fit like this then i will be now just doing one thing like i will be moving down after close this bank write here ul info and now write this info and write here image s slash write here images listing icon 2 so i will be now writing here listing icon 2 like this and then you have to move here and write 4 bedrooms and i will be now just moving down after the li close tag which we have created here you can see then I will be now writing here images slash. Okay, so I will be now writing here as this images slash. And I will be now writing here listing icon 3. So you can see here I will be now writing listing icon 3 like this. And then I will be now doing one thing like I will be writing here 3 bathrooms. So here I will be writing 3 bathrooms like this. And create here you will this class main file buttons. All like this button. And create a tag contact file. So here I will be now writing this create i. Write here class FAFAR. Then you have to move here and I will be writing contact. Now you have to just write here contact. Now save it. And after saving this, you have to move after four divs here, which we have created. And write here div class call LG12. Then I will be now writing here div class like this. Write here listing icon. And I will be now writing here div class lab. So here I will be now writing lab again. Then I will be now just doing one thing. I will be writing A tag. Write image ss slash images and I will be now just doing one thing. I will be writing here uh, a tag which should be like listing tree. So you can see this is the listing tree here which we have written. Then move after the close bit, create diff class as write content and I will be writing here align self center. Then you have to write here a tag and I will be now writing here h3. Then here you can just write here h4 like this and create three secret and i will be now writing here place hidden and i will be now writing here house then you have to write here h6 there and in which i will be writing here by best property so i will be now writing by best property like this save it and then you have to reload so if i show you so you can see we are getting these all things here like we want and now we are getting this as well this image now we have to just do one thing we have to get this perfectly styled so i will be now doing one thing like uh, I will be moving down and create a UI class and I will be writing here new. Then I will be writing li item class and I will be writing fa fa star and I will be writing here o. Then create li item again write here fa fa star o like this. Then you have to create another li and write here item class fa fa star o. Then you have to move down and write here li write here li item class 
then I will be now writing here as my F A star and I will be writing here O. Then create L I I tag class and I will be writing F A F A star like this and I will be writing here O. Now when you create this, you have to now move down again and I will be creating another L I tag here with 36 values. So here I will be now writing 36 values. Right here is pen tag. So here I will be now pressing Ctrl Z here. And I will be now writing span tag and create here class i. Then I will be writing here diff class i. Then I will be now writing here image assist and I will be now writing here images slash and I will be writing here listing icon one. Then when you written this, you have to uh, now move forward after the diff tag and create this tag and I will be writing comma five zero and then I will be writing here dollar three comma six zero. Then when you written this, you have to write here month with taxes. Then when you written this thing just here, I will be now doing one thing. I will be writing here is spend tag with class as details. And I will be now moving here and write here details as it is. Then write here EM5500 uh, square fit like this. Then you have to move after the close spend tag and create UL class info. And then you have to write here LI image tag. Write here SS. Then I will be now writing here images slash and I will be now writing here listing icon 2. Then when you've written this, you have to write here 4 bedrooms like this. So I will be moving here and write here 4 bedrooms. Now when you've written this, you have to create li image tag assist and I will be now writing here images slash listing icon 3. And then when you've written this, you have to move before this li tag and write here 3 bathrooms. Then I will be now writing here diff class and I will be writing it as main white buttons. Then I will be moving down and write here a tag contact. So I will be now writing this contact file here and I will be now writing i tag create fa fa i and then I will be now writing here contact like this save and write here contact now. Then you have to move after the divs here. So here we have to move after uh, six divs here. So I will be now moving three, four, five, six. So these are the six divs and I will be now writing here div class item. Then you have to now just write here div class row and I will be now writing here div, div class and I will be writing it as all lg12 and I will be now writing here div class and I will be now writing here listing and then after writing this listing you have to now write here icon then create div class and I will be writing here left image and then when you have written this you have to now just move down write here a tag image assist then I will be now writing here image slash listing 4. So here I will be now writing listing 4 like this. Create this class right and I will be now writing here right content align self center. So there I will be now writing this. Then you have to move down right here a tag. Then right here h4 and create 4 sunshine. So here I will be now writing and write here 4 apartment. So here I will be now writing like this. Then after writing this tag, you have to move after this gate and create 6 and I will be writing by sale agent. Then I will be now writing here UL class date and I will be writing here LI tag. Then I will be now creating here class FA FA star and I will be now writing here O create LI tag and I will be now writing FA FA star O. Then you have to move down and create LI tag class FA FA star O. Then here I will be now writing here li item class fa fa star o like this. Then again I will be doing the same thing here. Now when you have written this you have to completely do one thing like I will be moving down. Right here li and write here 24 reviews. So here I will be now writing 24 reviews like this. Create a spend time and I will be writing here price. Then here I will be writing div class. And in div class I will be writing here icon create image. And write here s slash and I will be writing here images slash listing icon one. So here I will be now writing listing icon one dot png. Then I will be moving after the close div which we have created here and I will be writing here as dollar three six zero zero. Then I will be writing slash one and then I will be writing with taxes. Now you have to move down after this and create a spend tag, create details, and I will be now writing here details again. Then you have to write here EF e. Uh, 3600 square feet. Then you have to do, do one thing like you have to move after spend tag, create UL, and I will be now writing here class info, write here LI, then I will be now writing here LI image, 
then right here ss slash images and i will be now writing here listing icon 2 so here i will be now writing listing icon 2 here so just i will be now doing one thing i will be saving and reloading so if i just show you by reloading you can see we are getting all these things here but one thing is not good here like we have just done one thing here if i just show you by moving here okay so now you can see we are getting this thing but now we have just uh, not written it perfectly there in this tag so we have to just do one thing we have to change that uh, text here so i will be now just changing the link here in this so for changing the link you have to move at the top to check what thing we are getting here so you can see we are getting all the things working and we are getting these all stuff and it is working good you can see this so now we are getting this small icon but we want that it should be having a big icon like we were getting at the top so just i will be moving here at the first one and this is i think third one which we are getting there Okay, so I will be moving down and you can see we are getting that all this stuff working and now we have to just do one thing like we are getting first apartment unit. So this is the first apartment unit. So I will be moving here and I will be moving on to the first apartment unit. So there it is. Then I will be moving on to the second one. This is the second and then the third we are getting which is the secret place hidden house. So you can see this is the secret place hidden house and we have just by mistake written icon 3 like this then if i save it here and if i reload so you can see now we are not getting anything here but now we will be getting here style so for getting that thing you have to now just do one thing like we have to now uh, write here listing 3 dot jpeg here which is the image name so i will be writing here listing 3 dot jpeg then you have to simply do one thing like you have to reload so now after reloading you can see we are getting this all stuff here now we are getting and then in four bedrooms we have written wrong thing so here i will be now writing four bedrooms like this i will be writing listing 02 which is this one then i will be now writing listing 03 so here i will be now writing listing 03 save it then reload so if i just show you here now you can see we are getting it perfectly good and now we are move on to code here. so if i move at the top here as well you can see it is perfectly styled so now when you are getting these things here you have to just simply do one thing you have to now just style that here. So now we are getting that all stuff working. Now when you are getting this, just I will be doing one thing like I will be moving here and writing here five bedrooms. Then I will be just writing here li image tag and I will be writing here ss slash images and I will be now writing here listing icon and I will be now writing here listing icon three. Then you have to just write here three bathrooms. So here I will be now writing this. Save it. Create here this class and I will be now writing it as main white buttons. So here I will be now writing this and create here a tag with contact file. So here I will be now writing this. Then you have to now write here i tag and create class as fa fa i. Then you have to now create here contact again. Then you have to now just write here contact now. Save it. And after saving this file, you have to move after four digits which we have created. And then we have to now write here div class all lg12. And then you have to create div class and I will be now writing here listing item. So here I will be now writing listing item like this. Then you have to now do one thing like I will be moving down and creating here div class and write here left image. So I will be now writing here div class left image. Write here a tag and create image tag which should be as ss slash images and I will be writing listing file. Then when you've written this you have to create a tag which should be write and I will be now writing here like this write content and I will be writing here align self center then you have to create a tag and here i will be writing h4 5 best house so here i will be now writing best house of the town like this now when you've written this you have to move after this tag and create h6 and i will be now writing here by sale agent so here i will be now writing by sale agent like this create ul class rate and i will be moving down and write here li item write fafa star o then you have to move down and create li item class and i will be now writing fa fa star o then when you written this you have to create li item class fa fa star so here i will be now writing o like this then again you have to do same thing and then after writing this you have to now write here fa fa star and write here o then create li item class fa fa star and i will be writing here o now when you create this you have to simply do one thing you have to move down after this step 
and then after moving down you have to create 32 reviews means review section where so i will be writing 32 reviews save it create a spend tag and i will be writing that spend class price and create this class as icon as well now when you create this you have to now write here image assist and i will be now writing here images slash and i will be now writing it as a tag which should be like listing icon 1 i will be now writing here listing icon 1 then i will be moving down after the close div and write here 5 comma 600 slash 1 and i will be writing here with taxes now you have to just do one thing you have to create here spend tag again write here class details and i will be now writing here details again. Then write here em1750 square fit and I will be now writing here means I will be moving down after close spend tag and I will be writing dual class info li image and I will be now writing here assist labels slash and I will be writing listing icon 2. So I will be now writing here listing icon 2 here. Then you have to write here six bedrooms and I will be now doing one thing I will be moving down right here image assist slash so here I will be now writing images slash and I will be writing it as listing icon 1. Then when you written this uh, thing, here I will be now writing listing icon 3 in the place of it. Then I will be writing 3 bathrooms. Then you have to move down and create this class. And I will be now writing here main white button. And then you have to create a tag, create contact. Then you have to now just do one thing, you have to write here a i tag fa fa i like this. Save it. Then you have to move after this and create contact here. and write here contact now. Then you have to save this file. Then you have to now just do one thing. You have to move down right here diff class for LG12 and write here diff class and I will be writing the listing item and I will be now writing diff class left image. Now when you have written this, you have to move down and write here diff class again. So I will be now writing here diff class left image which we have already written. Now after writing this tag, you have to now simply do one thing, like I will be now writing a tag, write here hashtag and create image source, as a slash images slash and I will be writing listing 06. Then when you have written this thing, you have to move after this div and create this, right and I will be writing here contact, align cell and I will be now writing here center. So after writing this, you have to now move down and I will be now just uh, writing here a tag. Then I will be writing H4 and I will be writing 6 amazing and I will be now writing here pool party villa and I will be writing H6 here. So just you have to move down right here H6 by sale again. So here I will be now writing. Then you have to write here UL class and I will be now writing here UL class rate. Then you have to now write here LI tag class FA FA star O. Then I will be moving down after the LI tag. Write here I tag class. And I will be writing FAFA star O. Then you have to move down and write here LI ITAC class FAFA star. And I will be now writing here O like this. Create LI ITAC class FAFA star O. Now when you have written this again, you have to write LI ITAC FAFA star O. Then create LI tag only and in which I will be writing 40 reviews. So here I will be now writing the save and write here spend tag. Create price and I will be now writing here this class and then you have to write icon create image as a slash and I will be now writing here images slash listing. Then you have to now write here listing icon one. Then you have to just do one thing, you have to move after this close div and write here this dollar sign three comma five hundred and I will be writing slash one. Then you have to write here with taxes. So here I will be now writing this. After writing this, you have to create a spend tag with class as details and I will be now moving here and write here details like this. Then write here EM3600 like this and I will be writing here square fit. Then you have to simply do one thing, you have to move after the close span and create UL class info. And then I will be writing LI image tag, write here access and I will be now writing here slash image slash and I will be writing here listing icon 2. So I will be writing here listing icon 2, write here 4 bedrooms. Then I will be moving down and creating li image tag and write here s slash images. And I will be writing here listing icon 3. Then when you've written this, you have to create here 3 bathrooms. So here I will be now writing this, save it. And after saving this, we have to move after this dual tag and create this class as main white button. So I will be now writing here main white button like this. Then you have to create a tag and write here contact. 
now you have to write i then plus f a f a i then i will be now writing here contact so here i will be now writing contact now then you have to just do one thing you have to save it and then i will be moving after uh, three four five six so you can see we have now done that so i will be now creating this class item right here this class row and then you have to write here this class right here call lg3 or you can say call lg12 then i will be now writing the listing item then you have to move down and write here this class left image then i will be now writing here a tag and create image as is slash images listing and then i will be now just writing here five listing five like this then i will be now writing here div class as right content then i will be now writing here align cell center then you have to write here a tag and i will be writing h4 so here i will be now writing h4 tag right seven sunny apartment so here i will be now writing sunny apartment like this then you have to just move down after this tag and create access and in x6 i will be now writing here by sale agent so here i will be now writing this then you have to move down to the ul class weight and i will be writing here li i type class f a f a star and i will be now writing here o then i will be moving down after this tag you can see here it is so i will be now writing here li i type class f a f a star and i will be writing here o like this Then create li i tag like this thing, and I will be now writing here class f a f a star, and I will be writing here o. Then again, I will be now writing the same thing here. I will be writing i tag f a f a star, and then I will be now just writing here o like this. Now again, you have to move down right here li i tag class f a f a star, and I will be writing here o. And now when you return this, you have to move down right here li, and here I will be writing twenty four reviews. So you can see I have just written the review here. Create span class price, and I will be now just moving here and create this class, and I will be now writing here item. Create image as slash, and I will be writing here images slash listings, and I will be now writing here listing icon one. So here I will be writing listing icon one dot png. Move after the close div here and create this dollar sign five comma four five zero slash one, and I will be writing with taxes. Then you have to move after this span tag. Then I will be writing here UL. So here you have to create another span tag with class. In this class, I will be writing details. And here I will be now just doing one thing. I will be writing here details again. And then you have to write here EM one six four zero. And then I will be writing here square bit. So here I will be now just doing one thing. I will be moving down after this tag and write here UL class info. And then I will be now just writing here li image tag and I will be writing here s slash images. Then I will be now writing here listing icon two. Then when you return this, you have to move after this tag and write here eight values. Then you have to move down and write here li image tag. Write here s slash images. Then I will be now writing here listing icon three. So I will be now writing listing icon three here and write here five values. So here I will be now writing here five values like this. Right here, div class, and I will be writing main white button. So I will be now writing this. Then here I will be now writing contact. Then here I will be now writing here i tag again. Right here, f a f a i. And then you have to move here and write contact. And after writing this, you have to write your contact now. Then you can see we have just written this thing. And after writing these all stuff, you have to move after four days and create a div call lg two, which will be. Or you can say call lg twelve. Then I will be now writing here div class listing, and I will be now just writing here listing item. Create here div, and I will be writing the left image. Then I will be now writing here a tag and create image as slash images, and I will be now writing here listing uh, listing two. Then create here div class as right, and I will be now writing here content. Align self, and I will be now just writing here center. So just write here align self center. Then create a tag, and I will be writing it as h4. A tag, and I will be writing here third house. And then I will be now writing here dog gaming. Now when you've written this, you have to simply do one thing. You have to move after this a tag. Write here h6, and I will be writing here by sale agent. So here I will be now writing this. Then you have to move down, create ul, and I will be now writing here wait. Then you have to create li i tag class f a f a star, and I will be writing here O. 
dash o like this. Then create li i tag, and then I will be now just writing here class actually f a star, and I will be writing here o. And then you have to move down right here li i tag f a f a star, and I will be writing here o. Then again you have to create same thing f a f a star, and I will be now writing here o. Then you have to move down right here f a f a star, and write here o. Then again you have to move down. And create li in which I will be writing 15 reviews. So here I will be now writing my 15 reviews here. Then you have to simply save here and then create here a spend tag with class. And I will be now giving it the class s guys. Right here div and I will be writing class i sir. Then you have to now create image s s slash and I will be writing here image slash listing icon one. So I will be now writing the listing icon one like this. Dot png. Then you have to create uh, div. So I, this is the close div here. And I will be writing this dollar sign five comma five two zero, and I will be writing slash one with taxes. And after writing this tag, you have to move down and create a spend tag with class as details. And I will be now just doing one thing. I will be writing here details again. So here you have to write this and write here em sixteen sixty square bit. Now you have to just do one thing. You have to move after the close spend tag and write here ul class info, and then you have to write here li image tag. Right here, s slash images, and I will be now writing the listing icon two. So you can see here it is. Then I will be moving the after this tag, and I will be writing here five attributes like this. Then you have to move here and create li image tag, s slash images, and I will be now writing the listing icon three. So here I will be now writing listing icon three here. Then you have to move after this and create the four attributes again. Save and then you have to create your div class as main white button. So here I will be now writing main white button, and then I will be moving down and writing here a tag which should be like contact. So here I will be now writing this contact section and create i tag. Right here f a f a i, and I will be now just writing here contact again. So right here as it is. Save this file here and I will be writing for contact now. Then reload and if I just show you, you can see we are getting all these stuffs here, uh, and you can see it is looking good. Here we are getting all these things there, like I was just showing you, and it is looking good. You can see this. We are getting all the categories listing here, and then if I show you, so you can see we are getting all the things working good, and this was our project which we have created now. So here, I hope you understand how we have created this amazing plot listing application here, and this is totally responsive. If I show you here in Mobile, so you can just see this project which we have created here is totally responsive. In any device, you can check it is it is responsive because we have created here using the things like Tailwind, CSS, Next.js, and GPT-4, and we have used the AI tool of GPT-4 as well, which makes everything responsive when we create any application in there. So obviously, application is responsive if you create in app, 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 you can say in any language like it is in HTML, CSS, it is in React, it can be in. Next year, so it will be responsive for every device. So this was the uh, plot listing application which we have created, and you can see it is totally responsive. Even uh, you can see this, it is totally responsive, and everything are coming here, and you can see it is looking good. So I hope you understand how we can create this amazing plot listing application from start. And this was our last and fourth application which we have created. So I hope you understand this video in which we have created four application using different technologies, but in all four application we have used next year. But we have used different technologies. Like in some application, I've used TypeScript. In some, I've used GPT-4. In some, I've used Tailwind CSS. In some, I've used Solidity. Means I've used different technologies in every app which we have created yet here. So I hope you understand these four application projects which we have created here. So if you want me to upload more projects, like I have uploaded these four applications, so remember to hit a like and if you are new on the channel, hit the subscribe button and after subscribing the notification bell as well, so more people can learn and they can understand how we can create these projects using different languages. And also tell me in the comment section what projects do you want from me using these all amazing languages like Next.js, Blockchain, GPT-4, and More other languages which are on the market. So just tell me about them. So soon I'll be bringing up projects using that languages as well. So just now uh, I hope you understand these four projects or you can say four application which we have created here using different technologies in next year. So just tell me which next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorial using next year and different technologies here. So for today, good bye.